Who was so yeah? I think this hold on. What's going on, yeah? Four and Simon, what's up? Slum Dog, what's going on? Can you guys see me? I don't know if this is, um, you guys hear me? Can you guys see me? It's my first time, so I'm just gonna keep this up. I'm live, okay. You can hear me though? Slim dog, you can hear me? I figure out where I could put this to be seen. All right, all right, let's get it. Ah, what's going on, man? What's going on, yeah? Uh, I hope there's no, I'm just having an iPad so I can see the chat. Let's see my Batman shirt. Geo, what's going on, man? Toy Kingdom Nick, what's going on? Uh, how do you pop the Simon? What's up? Let me make sure I acknowledge everybody. Slim Dog is in here. What's going on, man? Geo. And then. Toy Kingdom Nick, what's going on, yeah? Oh man, it's my first live, so <laughs> deal with me. Um, and I should be looking at this camera, right? Instead of looking at this, but yeah, what's going on, yeah? So yeah, this is my first live, man. Just trying to, we, all, we almost to 100 subscribers, so I think my subscribe, I, I can't even check my subscribers because I'm on the stream, yard, but yeah, I'm going to be doing a giveaway to uh, 100 subscribers. Haven't really decided what I'm going to give away yet. Um, definitely have a comic book I'm probably going to give away. Fantastic Four. Um, also have some Funk Pops. Um, and then I may also give away one of my G.I. Joe figures. Got a few G.I. Joe figures, you know. So, you know, it's just, you know, I'm kind of just going with the flow of things and, you know, we'll see how things go. But if you guys could tell me, you know, if I hit a hundred, just let me know. And then we could, you know, we could do, the, well, I'll probably do the giveaway a little later. But for the time being, um, some dog, what new figs I got, um, uh, so my latest fig is going to be, it's going to be a black series fig um i'm going to be showing my whole black series and vintage collection this live so i don't want to spoil it too fat but i'll show you my latest one my latest black series fig is the archai which is uh, admiral throng i mean I, I really don't have to say too much this this fig is crazy with the red eyes and he has the I know I'm not the only one, but he has like the people's eyebrow. Let me see if I can. If you look closely, he ha you see that eyebrow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has like the people's eyebrow, I swear. Like, <laughs> look at that shit. But yeah, this would be my latest fig. I picked up another Archive fig too, but this would be my latest one. 
You got Boba Fett, Gio, Carbon. I'm not going to lie, I've been kind of eyeing that one. <laughs> I know they're not going to re release it. So, did you get on the secondary market or or did you uh, already have it? You know, did you get it for resale or the secondary market? Uh, Boba Fett, yeah. I don't have Boba Fett, but I have his dad. So, I got to get that. That Carbon Eyes one is crazy. Sign them at 98 subs. All right, let me stay two more. And then tell people to go subscribe. They need two more. We can do that giveaway later. <laughs> no, for real, Nick, it got the people's eye, bro. Like, it's really, <laughs> it's crazy, but. You said the uh, Simon said the throng's been avoiding me. Well, when I found it, I wasn't even recording. And the crazy thing is, is like, it was only one left. So I got extremely lucky. I'm not going to lie. So, but Admiral Throng, if, I don't know who guys, who's uh, watched the Rebels, but when they brought him back, that Admiral Throne really is what kind of made Rebels to me. You know, of course they showed Darth Vader, but when Admiral Throne showed up in Rebels, that's when that show kind of took off to me. Because, you know, Admiral Throne, he's not only super smart, like tactically, but he also knows how to fight, <laughs> which catches me off guard because he has like that super smooth talking voice. Do you got it on Amazon? How much? If you don't mind me asking. I know that's definitely going to be, I'm, I'm going to need to include that in the collection soon. And I'm going to start showing my Adventist collection uh, in a few seconds. I was just trying to see if more people were going to join in. So and I'm sorry I look so, <laughs> looking crazy, man. I know, I know, I know. JC the Great, yo, what's going on? Thanks for checking out. Slim Dog, any G.I. Joe uh, figures. I only have the small ones. These. I only have three, you know. The bigger figures, I can't. I'm pretty sure you know how, how those go, man. It is, you know, if, if you don't work in the store, I don't think you're getting one because those are like extremely hard to find. Mexico City is hard to find. Arch I fig. Damn, man. Shit, I mean, I'm in, I'm in uh, South Carolina, so where I stay at, I'm actually kind of in the country. So trust me, I know the, I know the struggle on finding figs. You know, I usually got to travel outside of where I live. So Simon said, for some reason, my local Walmart, the price tag for those four Archer figs is for twelve thirty nine, but I couldn't find them. Twelve thirty nine, that's crazy. Um, I got mine from Walmart. It was twenty dollars, but freaking twelve thirty nine. Shit, twelve thirty nine. I would have blow all of them. I'm not gonna lie. No question. Boba was thirty. That sounds about accurate. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna get that one soon, man. Real, real soon. Slim Dog, yeah, 23 subs, yo. Everyone go check out his channel. Slow, Slum Dog Fig, Fignere. Hope I'm saying that right. Slum Dog Fignere. But yeah, everyone go check him out. Got 23 subs right now, man. Let's get his channel popping. It's hard. To, yeah, Gio is really, I already know. Hard to find out there. That throng, man. Everyone loves throng. I mean, I ain't, I'm not really surprised for real, for real, but. So it came in the next day, found the whole wave at Target. I got lucky, yo. Oh, yeah. Real lucky, because them joints be gone. I mean, the only ones I've been seeing is the. Uh, <clears throat> is the. What's his name? Um, Luke, of course. Hoth Luke and Hoth. Um, Lando, yeah, those two. No, not Lando, I'm sorry. Um, 
I can't think right now. Oh, Han. Hoth Han and Hoth Luke. Sheesh. <laughs> Pretty good. I don't know, but yeah, I, don't, I, I know I'm all over the place, but uh, JC the Great, the independent toy stores around me that around me that buy the good figs and sell them for more money. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, that, that's a part of, you know, especially in the time we're in right now, you know, everybody trying to you could scrape up a few dollars from selling the toy, you know. I can't knock the hustle, so it's like, I get mad. Cause I know, you know, scalpers is out there, but at the end of the day, you know, you know, it's their way of making money. I can't get mad at that, you know. I'll get, of course, I'll be upset for the moment, but it's like, it is what it is, for real, for real. Slim Dog, there you go. I mean, Nick, so do you. When, everyone go check out my Toy Kingdom Nick channel too. He just posted a video there, bro. Two days ago? Oh, I might be bugging, but he just posted a video. Good uh, good content, good content for sure. So he came to Nick, I wanna go check him out. Red big build, I wanna be a hundred I don't even know if I'm at a hundred yet, but I think I was at ninety eight, so I hope you sub then. Uh, you know. In fact, let me go check real quick. Okay, it says I'm at 98 still, so I don't know if we're going to be the 100th, but before we try to get to 99, it's up. <laughs> the exclusives, yeah. All right, so let me let me start showing my collection since there's people in. I don't want to lose people. I know, I'm, you know, I know this is what I came here for. I'm going to start with the vintage collection. Um... Probably going to just, yeah, let's just start grabbing them and showing them. So these are the three inch, like three inch point seven five. I just call them three inch figures. Um, so I got the turn of the Jedi, uh, Wicked, you know. You know, nothing too crazy. You know, I'm gonna show some of the, the, the regular ones and then you know we're gonna get into those those black series. I know that's why you're here. I know that's why you're here, them black series, man. So um, next we got the Phantom of Menace. This is one of my favorites. Dark Maul. Of course I can't find the black series Dark Maul, so this is you know, the next best thing. And he comes with the hood. Look at that. The hood. And he comes with the jetpack, if you see that. This gen is crazy. I'm not even going to lie. So, yo, y'all drop, um, drop a comment right now. Tell me if y'all like the Vintage Collection or the Black Series. I mean, of course, I'm, I'm sure it's Black Series. But, you know, I'm a fan of the Vintage. Put the carded back. Come on. This is crazy. And it comes with like a secondary dual lightsaber. Crazy. All right. That more juice and that more fire. I already appreciate it, man. I'm gonna try to keep going, but I'm trying to, you know, stay in the chat as well. Um, Slim Dog, I'm sorry, hold on. Slim Dog, all right, here we go. Dog Maul, he really, we could talk about Maul for a second because Maul really is the GOAT. Like, if you follow, you know, the Clone, um, the Clone Wars cartoon, the dude really got his body chopped in half and then came back to life. That's why, you know, I started to think, like, how is he not the most powerful, you know, uh, 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 dark, you know, dark force user or whatever? Like, how the dude was cut in half and came back to life? Like, what? 
And I was, you know, reading up on it. They were saying he was so in, in tune into the dark side. He was able to, you know, keep his keep himself alive. That's like, come on. Um, next one we got the Clone Wars, Anakin Skywalker. Now, Clone Wars is up there in my like top three movies, Star Wars movies. But the thing about this one, I'm gonna get to the to the comments in a few. But but the thing about this one, if you look at his face, can I just take a look at Anakin's face? Hold on, sorry, I'm shaking it. Like, why the hell does he look like that? Hold on. Just look at his face real quick. Like, I know it's probably not as clear, but I don't know. His face looks like, he looks old or something like, I don't know. Looks weird. Gio said, I collect black series, but I love the cargo of the vintage collection. Same, man. Same, same, same. Slim Dog got me Afro Samurai figs. I do not, and I actually never seen any Afro Samurai figs while I was out. Not that I could recall. Um, I am a fan, though. Definitely a fan. So it came to Nick, him and Mace are my favorite. Nah, that's a fact. Um, Mace Window, I still don't have his Black Series, but that is definitely on the list. JC the Great, Mace is my favorite of all time. Now I feel you. Now is this just... Like, is he your favorite just Star Wars character? Okay, of all time, so yeah. My favorite Star Wars character of all time would have to probably be... Yeah, I, I was always a Maul fan, I'm not gonna lie. And of course, I like Vader, I like Mace, I like Yoda. I like Count Dooku, Side Ventress. But, um... Yeah, Maul is just... Different, I'm not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> Phantom of the Menace was one of the first Star Wars films I've seen, and I mean, if you got, I'm sure everyone's seen that. And I think you guys know how he gave it up, even though he died, <laughs> and then came back to life. Like, come on, he's goaded for real. Makes me find like I could be a Jedi when I was a kid, I love the only black dude out there. No. For <laughs> Nah, for real. <laughs> nah, for real. Like, Mesa is the... Yeah, he's the only black character that I ever remember. He's the only one that, you know, at least as black kids, we could relate to. Like, oh, it's a black guy. And he was real. That's the crazy part. Like, it wasn't like he... They made him, like, one of the weak ones. He was... The, you know, some people argue if he could have been stronger than um, Yoda. Or, you know... I personally think he was stronger than, um, no, I don't think he was stronger than uh, uh, Anakin. But once, you know, I should be doing okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I look like a So we got another Clone Wars. Uh this is OB1. Now this looks exactly like OB1. This is a very good fit. And do you see the back the card? Oh my gosh. This is nice. There you go. That looks nice. OB1. Um Oh uh, man, I don't want to butcher any names. Uh, Frank, French, Francesco, Francesco, Maldonado. I think I know to say the last name. Maldonado. What's going on, man? Day, you know, day's going pretty good. Um, 
And I do have some news to tell you. I'll leave there. You know, let's, let's kind of just keep it going with this. But, you know, I'm, everything's going to go for the most part. You know, no complaints. I'm just... Simon, you're back. Um, I've only showed, you haven't missed too much. I only showed three figures. Um, this would be the fourth. So far, we show Wicked, um, Maul, Anakin, and then now Obi-Wan. So we're just doing the Vintage Collection for now. So you didn't miss the good stuff, which is the Black Series. Mace is one of the most powerful. We have the Emperor B1V1. Maybe with the lightsaber, yeah. But one on one, you also have to think about, you know, the for uh, the, as a force user. I'm sorry, but Emperor Palpatine was the best force user. Like, there's no question about that. I don't think nobody see him in that. One, like with the lightsaber, he got you know Mace could have that, or as a force user. I don't think so. Not saying he'll destroy him, but I think I think Popusin got that one. You gotta remember this dude played both sides for the whole war and they never suspected him like really goaded. Oh <laughs> Obi Wan Clone Wars, right? This is Clone Wars is my shit, man. Maldonado. I think I said that right. Maldonado. Gio said that Obi Wan bro. Now I know a lot of guys gonna, you guys gonna like this one. And before I do this one, JC said JC the Great is a black kid growing up. Mace was an inspiration for me. I like Obi Wan as well. Yeah, man, Obi Wan is always a, a a good spirited Jedi, you could tell. And the fact that he was um, you know, Anakin was under Obi Wan. I was just so surprised when he went to the dark side, but. Of course, there, of course, there's other factors. And so next we have, boom, our man Moff Gideon for the Mandalorian Vintage Collection. I'm so mad because I can't find the Black Series version of this, but this is what I have to do. I like this one with the card in the back. You can see like the, see the dog Saber in there. Oh, right here. But yeah, this is a, get a little closer for you guys. Let me know if I, you know, showing it good for you guys. I want you guys to all see. But yeah, Moff Gideon. Good one, Black Saber. This one's crazy. I really want to find another mole and another moth so I could take the Dark Saber and put it in Mole's hand, just like in the um, cartoon. So this is a friend favorite. Let me know if you guys are any uh, any Mandalorian uh, fans out there. Then you guys already know that was a must for me. Maldonado. So my latest Black Series purchase. My latest Black Series purchase was the Admiral Throne. But we're gonna get to the Black Series after I finish the Vintage Collection. If Anakin didn't come save the Emperor Mace would have him when he pushed me. Yeah, but Nick, you gotta remember he was holding back his power. So I mean we have seen what happened before Mace did all of that. And you know, they said that Emperor uh Palpatine let Mace kinda you know, get one up on him just to turn Anakin to the dark side. So it was all like that. That's just you know what I've read. So um, he could have killed him, but then they the remember Palpatine basically slaughtered like four Jedi before. You know, it was just them two, him and Mace, like like that, like in a matter of like seconds. <laughs> like it's like damn. Oh, hold on. Maldon Maldonado said Mace won the only one because of Shadow Point. 
I don't know. That, I'm off getting in. I appreciate it, man. Nick might start grabbing some of the three point five just just to have some mock figures. They're fine. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, and they're um they're actually more they're uh, more affordable as well. Um, I think they just retail for like eleven, twelve dollars. So I, I would suggest it, man. This is I got another good one. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot to say with this one. But let me uh, catch up to the comments. <laughs> Simon said Mace is also known as the basketball coach from Coach Carter. That is very true. Yes, that is very true. So not only, you know, he, he coaches on the weekend, but he's a um, Jedi Knight during the weekday. Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> Gio said, I like, the, I like them both, the Black Series and Vince's collection, mostly for the Black Saber facts. Black Saber is different. And, oh, guys, do you guys see the, the Dark Saber that's coming in the next few months? They, they, oh, let me fix my leg. Ah. Yeah, they have a Dark Saber coming in another few months that um, I was going to pre order, but it's like 200 and something dollars. So once I save up some more coins, I will be doing that. So my next figure is going to be boom, Mandalorian, Cara Dune. Now I know there's a lot of talk about her lately. Um, I'm not sure exactly what happened with her. I think she got fired. Or if you guys know, please, you know, please drop it in the comments. I want to talk about this one. I just seen the toy community going crazy about her and um, her black series. Let me get a close-up. This is the Carbon Oz one, too. So her Black Series, the Black Series Cara Dune has been selling for over $100. And I think that's because they let her go or she was fired or something like that. I'm not too, I'm not 100% uh, sure of the story. Maldonado will say, yeah, agree with Pixar. Yeah. <laughs> he was so tired of these sneaks in a motherfucking plane. Yeah, that's very chill. Also, now you know, Mace doesn't really do the planes too much. You know, he Maldonado. Have you seen Bo-Katan Black series? I've seen it online. I haven't seen it while I've been toy hunting. Um, and hold on, let me get back to this one. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the Cara Doom, this is the carbonized one. So I don't know how much this one is going for, but I don't plan on selling it at all. <laughs> I don't care if she was freaking elected president, I'm keeping her. So, but yeah, her price has been skyrocketing. So. Gia said, do I have any Mando Vintage collection? Mando Vintage? No, I don't. I don't. I have been on the, I think it's Macari, Mercury app, you know, where they sell figures at. Um, I have been watching a few, so I do plan on. I just, it just, it got to be for the right price for me, honestly. I try not to really, if it's not retail, I really not, don't try to buy, but, you know, there are, some that I do buy for over retail as well. Carrot Doom Carbonize, that's a fact. Brooklyn G, I heard they dropped her. Yeah. They heard she got fired. I don't know why. But I don't even understand how. Whoa. I'm trying to think because I know they announced that they're going to be doing the Boba Fett next year. Because I'm trying to figure out what other show we should be a part of but i guess she would be a part of the boba fest so but i mean them dropping her is not doesn't really affect anything honestly i mean we could we could be honest there geo yep even in mexico second market went up to 200 sheesh i ain't gonna lie if this gets to 200 i'm selling it <laughs> nah i probably won't but i don't know i could sell it and get like some more favorite black series that i really want because some of the black series I already know they're probably not gonna be released. 
Oh, so Ma- Maldonado giving us some insight. He dropped it because of religious comments on Twitter. Mm. I gotta look that up. I see what she was talking about. I might have to get rid of her. She was talking too crazy. Toy Kingdom, uh, Nick, you, oh, hold on, hold on. you collect any neck or two, bro? Um, I actually don't. Um, some of the necker toys are, you know, are pretty cool. I just haven't gone, got around to start, you know, that collecting. Um, I'm not going to lie. I seen you, Toy Kingdom, like, I seen you with the Mortal Kombat, um, collecting. I kind of want to get to Mortal Kombat next after I finish my going crazy on Star Wars. Because I'm a big Mortal Kombat fan. Everyone go check out Toy Kingdom. Nick, he definitely has some some good Mortal Kombat uh, pickups. Um, I also like, you know, more, um, X-Men, you know, Avengers. It's just, you know, I'm, big, I'm just super big on Star Wars right now, so... Maldonado, I just pre-ordered uh, Hunter and bo Black Series. Yeah, that bo I need. I'm trying to have like a whole Mandalorian little uh, set. Yeah. I might have to pin this on Maldonado. Oh, hold on, I'm not to. Hold on, hold on. Star Wars is my religion. Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. We're going to get to the next fig in a second. Hold on. How do you do this? Hold on, guys. I'm trying to pin this on. I think that worked. All right. So, yeah. If you want to see Mandalorian, Cara Doom, Carbonized. Ooh, too nice, too nice, too nice. Next, we're getting into Rogue One K2SO. K2SO. I'm sure everyone's seen Rogue One. Another great, 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 great film. I'm not going to lie. This is basically an Imperial droid, I believe. And she basically was just working with the good... The, the, the good guys. Whoa, this thing is a robot, but yeah, it's working with the good guys. But yeah, it's an Imperial droid. Imperial droid. I think I'm saying that right. Yeah. K2SL. Nothing crazy about this one. I do like it though. Rogue One, another good, good movie. So it came down there. I got a bunch of the horror figs. They're fire. You know what it is, Nick? I'm not into scary movies. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm very... My last scary movie was... Um, damn. The Six Senses was the movie that kind of... When I was a kid, you know, I was forced to go watch The Six Sense with my grandpa. He took me to the movies to go see The Six Senses, man. I was traumatized since that day. Never seen a scary movie since then. So I'm not really into the... The horror films, but uh, it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's just too much for me. I don't know. I guess I'm a, a pussy cat. <laughs> I'm looking for that last Darth from Black Series. Um, which one? The I have a I have a uh, Vader Black Series. I'm gonna get to it. You gotta let me a G or you gotta let me know if it's the same one I have because I know they have different ones. Sign me collecting vintage Star Wars, like the ones from the 90s. Um, I want to, but the you know, the way my funds are set up, some of them are you know, the good ones are going for a lot of money, but you know, I do plan on getting some, um, some of the ones that I, that I do like, um, just all in due time, you know. I just don't always have the funds to just be going out of pocket for the, you know, I like, again, I like retail. I love retail. So secondary market is not really my favorite place to be, but, you know, I do 
I do purchase some. I do purchase some. So you came to Nick, man. Don't don't be laughed at me and my sixth sense, man. Anyone who's seen the sixth sense, I know y'all remember the part when the boy turned around and half his head was just going. It was just like it was like his head got blown off with a gun. But yeah. Geo, those carrot dome figures are going to become more expensive because Hasbro said they're not going to be the figure anymore. Okay, so it's only going to go up. Yeah, so I, hey, if y'all, you guys have any out there, I expect y'all to um hold those down. Yeah, y'all like my Batman shirt too, man. I'm trying to, you know, we out here, man. But oh yeah, I've been watching um Justice League on HBO Max or they said they're doing the Batman fiac. Stop laughing at me, Nick. Stop funny. <laughs> would uh Maldonado said, what do I think about the black series carbonized line? Amazing. <laughs> like amazing. I'm not gonna lie. All of them are amazing. I want all of them. I just know it's gonna cost me some bucks. I'm I was hoping for some restock so I could just grab them, but um, yeah, I do plan on getting them. So, next figure. So, I think the rest of my Vince's collection is going to be the Empire Empire Strikes Back. So, Uh, sorry about that. <clears throat> this is a little technical difficulties. Uh, I am using my phone, so sorry. All about that. Okay, I think we're good. Sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. All right, so Brooklyn G is six and keep me the fuck out. Yeah, no, I wasn't the only one. Maybe. Um, since I was like three, I love scary movies. I wasn't the only one forced to watch uh, scary movies. Let me catch up on the comments real quick. Geo Empire Strikes Back, yes, sir. So, yeah. Yoda. Now this is a damaged box I got from GameStop. You can see the sides. See how it's like plastic. It's kind of like damaged. But um, JC the Great. We got Mando and the Child. I do have Mando and the Child. I will be showing to, showing him uh, soon. As Yoda. Oh, this is uh kind of hard to keep up with the comments. <laughs> to um, the blue box Vader we were talking about, right? I do not have that. No, I do have that one. I do have that one. Um, stay tuned. Let me show that one soon. Maria, just the Rob, what are we talking about? Um, just showing my vintage collection. Then I'm going to be showing my black series. And then once we get to 100 subs, we're going to be doing a giveaway. So stay tuned, Maria. Want the blue box, dog. Yeah, the, the carbonized beta is crazy. I need that. Brooklyn G, when you finish uh, your collection, I want to talk about those comics you have set up as fire. I appreciate it. 
Now, I usually have my figures hanging up on the wall. But anyone who has Black Series figures hanging from the wall, <clears throat> not going to show, but oh, this is a land though. But this part right here, once it hangs from the wall for a long period of time, it kind of just like falls off. And like you could put it back in, it's like glued to the back of this. So, it, but when it falls off, it kind of damages the box. So, I said to myself, I won't be putting them back onto the wall until um, I put them all into some cases, like protective cases. So, but yeah, we could talk about the comics for sure. The Empire Strikes Back had back six inch. Yes, sir. Maria, somebody knows what just, oh, um, I'm sorry, I'm using my phone. So I think my mom is calling me. Um, so I apologize. It's just mama, mama, mama ta. She, I just hit a hundred. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So yeah, we're going to be doing the, um, appreciate it. We're going to be doing the giveaway later. So please, yo, stay tuned, y'all. I hope y'all stay around and, you know, let's enjoy this Saturday. Let me get to the next Vince. I'm trying to keep up with the comments, but let me, um, show Empire Strikes Back, R2-D2. This was a hard one to find, I'm not going to lie. You see the card, like the carded picture in the back is just so detailed. I love it. Well, Tavi can't see her head. Okay, I think I'm back. Oh, let me just... Geo, congrats. Brooklyn G, I made it to 100. Thank you. Thank you. Sleepy, congrats on how I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hold on. Simon said he can't hear me anymore. Sleepy, sorry you're laying on a hunt. It's okay, bro. It's okay. It's okay. I appreciate you even showing up, man. Appreciate you showing up for sure. Simon, the. Uh, Congrats on Toy Kingdom, Nick. Appreciate it, man. Just hit 100. I didn't think it was possible, not going to lie to you. Slum Dog, congrats. I appreciate it, man. Maldonado, appreciate it, man. Sleep Eye, right, we all caught up in the comments. Let's go. Oh, can I just get someone just to verify you can hear me and see me, please? Just, I don't want to do. Just want to make sure before I continue. Want you guys to see these figures, man. Just someone, someone just drop down if you could hear and see me, please. Just one, one person. <laughs> but yeah, we got that R two D two. And do you see the R two D two has the dirt? Okay, Simon, you can hear me. Appreciate it. But you you can see the dirt on R two D two. You see how like it looks rusted, but that's actually how it is. Fire, fire. Simon, congrats on a hundred. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. So I came down Nick two hundred no way, my guy. Appreciate it, man. Wait for you to to hit that hundred mark so I can, you know, pop up on the live too, and we could have fun, man. I right, can hear me. Maldonado, that store where you usually go, I think is Dungeons and Heroes and Dragons. Yeah, Heroes and Dragons, Maldonado. Bro, that's now Heroes and Dragons is where I get most of my comic books from. But yeah, they have two of these too. But they do, um, you know, it's like a secondary market. So they do upcharge on some of the figures there as well. Um, but it is where I did find, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to ruin the blacks here. I want y'all to wait and see the see the heat. So I can't say what I got from it, but if you see my videos, then you you probably know Maldonado. Brooklyn says so you can hear y'all can hear me now. I bet. Let's go. Let's continue. <clears throat> so my next figure, Empire Strikes Back, is the you know these are the rest of the Vince's collection I have. They got Luke and. Next time, let me just put this here because we do have. Do 
Yeah. I, I had two loops, so one I did open, but yeah. Yeah, this loop is fire. The blue saver. The card pitch in the back looks freaking crazy. Not a lot. Like, come on. I keep sleeping in these vintage collections, man. I'm trying to tell you. You know? They're more affordable and they're just as good. I mean, the carded back that makes it so. I don't know. I love them. Sleepy 200 would be here before you know it. Keep crushing. I appreciate it, man. We're going to keep working. Yeah, Maldonado, that's still a gold mine, I'm not gonna lie to you. When I said they have everything, they have everything. Everything. Yes, oh, matter of fact, if y'all go back and check that out, y'all seen that the Emperor Palpatine um, vintage collection there too. And then they had a carbonized Luke, I think that was like for $500 at Dungeons and Dragons. So, yeah, they got some heat. The neck of figure on that store a fire. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, the cardboard is the best part. Oh, it's GS, I love those black series, especially for the cardboard. But these are vintage collection. If you're talking about the carded ones that I'm showing. But yeah, these are fire. So my next one, oh, let me move Luke out the way. My next figure is gonna be IG-11. So all my Mandalorian fans. Now this is the one with token. I look, man, when I tell you I love this figure. First, and then look at the back, you know? Look at that. IG-11 with the token. Comes with the two guns. I love this one. All my Mandalorian fans, man. This, this is a good one. I had to get this one. Now, I do know they have them in the Black Series, too, but I'm not going to lie. This is one of those figures where I like them in the Vintage Collection more. Simon say, you finished Cobra Kai, now sleeping collectible. So yeah, this is the Mandalorian vintage. Let me know if I can see that. This one's nice. Oh, they're not the credit col yeah, the credit collection. There you go. I appreciate that. Yeah, those, those are fine. When it comes with those little card, I mean the little token things and the card, whatever it's called. Geo said, yeah, I'm on a hunt for those, yeah. Um, just to help you, I got this one from GameStop. Yeah, from GameStop. I think I had it in the video, one of my earlier videos. And then I actually went, you know, after like a few other toy hunts, I actually found it again. Um, I was going to get a duplicate to open, but you know, sometimes I got to save some money, you know, priorities. <laughs> Simon said, ID-11 is underrated. No, seriously. Especially, you know, if you're a fan of the droids, which I am, that's a good one to have. That's a, and the carded, you know, background is, is just, what, you know, it's just a bonus. Maldonado, do you own uh, the Death Trooper with the credit too? No, no Death Troopers, man. I want a Death Trooper so bad. You have no idea. So hopefully I could, you know, I haven't been able to find those on any toy hunt. So I may have to order it or, you know, let me put this down. But yeah, I may have to order it or I may have to um, find it on like the secondary market somewhere. So this one is a peg warmer, but it's part of my collection. And that's Han Solo, Empire Strikes Back. You know, 
It's just one of those you gotta have in your collection. Ahan, Ahan, Leia, Luke, those need in your collection. And I know it's probably a big moment, but this is like the starter kit to your, you know, this is like a starter kit for your collection. Yeah. Oh, Donato said you could find it on Amazon. See, the thing is, I don't like to order figures because they come damaged. And that that just, you know, you can't, I just hate, uh, the risk of me getting a figure damaged is just, it'll, it'll break my heart, honestly. You know, since I am someone that likes to keep it in the, the package. So I try to stay away from ordering, but I have ordered before, so. I'll let you know the one. I'll let you guys know the one that I have ordered, and it is my logo. I got it. You know, if you guys can see that. But yeah, I'll let you know, guys know the one that I have ordered. Everything I've shown you, I've got from the store retail. And Amazon doesn't always have their prices at retail. I started to realize that they're kind of secondary market prices too sometimes. Geo said, "Just got the Han Solo like a week ago. And yeah, that's neat in the collection, man. It's just one of those that you know. So next we got the Imperial S Snow Trooper. Boom, another good one. Now this one I actually did damage it. <laughs> so if you see right here, see that right there." It was the uh, GameStop sticker, and I was trying to peel it off, and I kind of rushed it, and yeah. But other than that, this is another good figure. Imperial Snow uh, Trooper. I like this figure a lot, I'm not going to lie. Detailed. I like the people that take the, you know, take the figures and do like the photo shoots out outside. I know, you know, I'm in South Carolina, so it's not snowing, but for the people who are in the snow, this figure in the snow will look probably crazy. <laughs> so, and you guys tell me if it's annoying that I'm not looking at the phone cam. I'm kind of looking at the iPad at the comments, but oh, that's not kind of confusing you guys. <laughs> Maldonado, what, what's the figure that you want to buy so badly? Whoa. Yeah, it would have to be the Boba Fett. Now, it would have to be both Boba Fett's, though. The Carbonized Black Series Boba Fett, and then also the Vince's Collection Carded Boba Fett. Those two, those are, those are ones that I'm willing to pay um, secondary market price. Yeah. So... For right now, those are those are definitely the two, and of course the side ventures. Side ventures has always been uh, one of my favorite characters in the um, Clone Wars cartoon. So, Snow uh, Simon said the Snow Trooper is a need. That's a fact, man. I haven't seen it lately out in the what, and, and but usually they have them at GameStop. So, anyone who's looking for it. Mother and I said I own all of the Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, I think I own all of them except for the, I think it's called the A, the ATRT driver or ATRT something like that. But yeah, that's the only one I don't have. Empire, Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot. This one is sick. Because first of all, look at the... Um, Look at the card on it. Like this one is sick. Gio said, yeah, I hate that too, but that's kind of the only way to get figures because in retail stores like one there isn't that much of a new figure. Yeah, that's true, man. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I so yeah, I've I've ordered my fair share of figures, but yeah, I try not to, but yeah, the the way things are nowadays, man, everything's just online. So kind of just it is what it is. 
So I can then make, I have to use Amazon, otherwise I wouldn't have one fourth of the stuff that I do own. It's tough in a small town. Bro, preaching to the quality, man. I'm in the South, so I already know how to go. You know, I don't even like doing to toy hunts where I'm where I live because it's kind of pointless. I mean, most of the time, but um, yeah, you know, it's just a it's a part of that toy hunt, man. It's a part of it. Sometimes you got to travel outside your community. Sometimes you got to order. Sometimes you got to hit those secondary markets. Sometimes you got to hit those comic books and pay that extra, you know, ten dollars, fifteen dollars. So. Gio said Amazon is my savior. <laughs> I'd be careful with uh, Amazon, so because you know some of those figures do be um, kind of beaten up by the time they package it. Not gonna tell you how I know, but I know. So we have two more vintage collection, then we're gonna get to the Black Series, guys. So hang in there, please. Hang in there. Hang in there. Um, the Boba Fett Carbon is on sale on Amazon. Oh, whoa. Well, so I, I just gotta, gotta check this out real quick. <laughs> Cause I was on Amazon earlier looking and I didn't. But hold on, we're going to get back to it. I don't, I don't want to, but. I, I didn't see it on sale, but I'll check again. Yeah, so yeah, I'm missing that Vince's collection, uh, Car Boba Fett. Yeah, man, I need that. Well, the, yeah, the AT&T driver. Yeah, that's the only one that I don't have in the, in the uh, Vince's collection. Empire Strikes Back. So next we have Princess Leia. Uh, you know, just another one of those, you know, starter toy collection figures. Another good one. Slim Dog, do I collect DC? I do collect DC, I just don't have any, like, I had figures when I was younger, of course, but since I've gotten older, I haven't co started collecting any, but that is something I am gonna start collecting. Um, I just trying to get all of my Star Wars figs out the way. I'm one of those, I like to stay on one particular line, kind of, and then move to the next, you know? But um, I am a fan of DC, Marvel, you know, all of that. I do like all of their figs as well. Geo, bro, and I'm in Mexico City, and it's weird. Yeah, man, it's part of that toy hunt, man. Gotta keep the feet sometimes, gotta try. <laughs> Sleepy, love those comics in the back. Appreciate it, man. You see, see, I'm, see, see those comics, and you know, I got something to tell. Hold on, you know, I can't see. Well, I'll show closer once I finish, but yeah, this is my Princess Leia. But if you guys see, I got some um, Vader comics. You see to the on the right here, my dark side. Um, Fantastic Four, Legion of Doom, Fantastic Four, Vader Comics, um, Vader, the Vader Comics are crazy. This Va these Vader Comics are crazy. Oh, and also, yeah, the uh, Joker's War, this is another good one. Um, see, I got my dark, oh yeah, I can't see that one. But yeah, that's my Dark Maul comic. Another good one. That's the Age of the Republic. I got some Justice League. So Kingdom Nook only have one Target and one Walmart within hours, so it's tough. I'm deep in North California, farm type of area. Oh man, damn. One Target and one Walmart within hours? Damn, man. I, yeah, but I. Mine isn't that bad, sheesh. Now where I'm from, I have a, like within five minutes of me, I have a Walmart and then a GameStop. Um, and I, so I do have two Walgreens, but they don't usually have much. But then I know you guys see in my video, I do travel to Columbia, which is like 40 minutes away. 
and um yeah columbia usually has all the good stuff um best buy um target more a few um walgreens and walmarts a few game stops so i am blessed to you know be close close enough but toy came and nick damn a few hours and damn i know that's kind of could get stressful at times man G oh okay the boba fett you got the boba fett for sale i believe we've been talking about okay Look, don't be out here laughing at me man <laughs> Gee, I don't know if the U.S. in Oh, right. I forgot. Yes, the fresh in Mexico City. So, okay, it may be different. I'm, I'm going to check, though, once I, once, we, you know, once I get up to law later. Um, Brooklyn really want the uh, Leia. Uh, you really want the Leia? I think that's the last one. Yeah, that's the last one I showed. So, I have one more. Fantastic Four. Yeah, I have Fantastic Four uh, comic books. That's what I was referring to. Um, which is... Oh, God. oh, I don't think you guys can see them. Uh, oh, no, right here. Yeah, the one with the FF. Those are Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four. Those are my... Those are up down. I'm not going to say they're my favorite, but those are, those are very good to read. So I have one more vintage collection. Then we go into the Black Series, y'all. So st stay with me. Maldonado, I'm trying to get all the Black Series Rebels. I'm missing Hera, Sindel, and Sabine. Yeah, the Rebels, I am a big fan of. Um, I have been seeing them in my toy hunts. I just have been passing on a lot of them. Just because I know they're going to be around. I'm trying to find the ones that's a little harder to find, but yeah, that, that's my plan eventually. Toy Kingdom, Nick, I do have a GameStop and a FYE, so it's not all bad. That's the thrill of the hunt. Yeah, man. And you know, sometimes these stores do surprise you. You know, you think they're not going to have nothing, then boom. They got a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> so, like you said, it's a part of that toy hunt. And you know it's crazy. You probably find stuff more when you don't record because I say that tends to happen to me sometimes. You know, when I'm not recording, then I'll find all the stuff. Um, but then when I'm recording, it's like, ah, uh, I can't really find nothing. I wish I could go hit up like three, four targets in a hunt. That would be dope. I uh, feel you. Yeah, I think I for a few of my videos, I think I was not targets, but like Walmart and. You're hitting up three, four is cool because then you could really see, you know, which one has the good stuff. You know, you have, you have more, of a, you have a better chance, I should say. Brooke asks, um, who? I'm sorry, which one I say I was from California? Oh, Toy Kingdom Nick, you're from California. So Brooke says there's still a Fry's Electronics in Northern California. It's been a few years since I left California. So it's like Kingdom Nick, you would probably be the best to answer that. <laughs> Fries electronics. Sound like some old shit that's O C D, so I don't know. Of course, my last one is that Chewbacca. I'm not gonna try to make his noise and embarrass myself. So <laughs> I don't even have to do it. <laughs> Oh yeah, Chewbacca. This figure's actually heavy. <laughs> He's big as shit. But yeah, Chewbacca. Another, another must, man. If you if you watch Star Wars, you you know you collect active action figures. You have to have a Chewbacca, man. Come on, Chewbacca. Um, Toy Kingdom Nick said, yeah, bro, is still a, um, fries is my baby. I worked there as a kid. I'm always scared. It's going to get closed down because there's barely any people that live there. Yes, sir. For your entertainment, I'm an oldie. I love, I love my CDs. <laughs> Man, I don't really remember the last time I brought a CD. I, 
it's crazy because I've only brought, when it comes to music, I've only brought two, three CDs in my entire life. Um, Kanye, um, the Kanye, um, damn, uh, my, my, my memory's going bad. With the Kanye CD, um, late registration. No, is that the one with the bit? The band? Yeah, I think it was, no, this is, no, College Dropout, I think it was. And then, of course, um, Slim Dog says a fry here in Texas, too. Okay. Maldonado, did you pre-order the Boba Fett Return of the Jedi Deluxe Black Series? The pre-order is sold down. I hope to get it. That's what it's going to be hard to come by. I know exactly which one you're talking about. I did not pre-order. Most of the pre-orders be for like four or five months. I don't get it. So I got to pay. I, I pre-ordered it. Then I, so I got a pre-order. Then I have to wait four months to get the figure. And then it may not even come on time. And this is too much. So it came to look. CD sound way better than me because their phones, huh? Just music in the car in general just sounds amazing. Not gonna lie. Brooklyn said, laughing my ass. That place was my baby. I was a teenager and would spend hours in there. I wish they had one down here. So he came to my Bay Area head. I only buy E40 C <laughs> E40. Yeah, I mean I'm yeah. I'm a, I'm from originally from New York, so I'm not I was not really big on the um, E40, but he's definitely talented. That's for one. Yeah, college dropout. Oh, no, no, no. Simon, you right. Graduation, the beer cover. Yeah, so it was graduation. And then I bought like a Cameron CD. I can't remember which one it was. And then, of course, I bought the, be the greatest CD of all time, the Carter 30. Don't argue with me. Please don't argue. The greatest CD of all time, the Carter Three. But um Brooks still I my ass of am from the Bay Area so everyone had E forty CDs. Oh, I still have my oh god, the E forty fans have, have came into the chat, I see. <laughs> um I just like how E forty is still kind of relevant to this day, you know. I think he just made a line too, if I'm not mistaken. So I might have to try that out. So he came to Nick. I've been listening to Epo since I was born. He's the GOAT. So yeah, we're going to get into the Black Series, y'all. Yeah, stay with me. Let's start to get into these Black Series. Oh, get into these Black Series figs in a second. Um. So. First, let me uh, check this battery life, if you don't mind. One second, guys, let me just uh, plug in my charger. Bear with me. Bear with me, Trying to plug the charger in so my phone won't die. One second, guys.
This thing is begin to the black series right now. I think that should be good. <clears throat> I think we're good to go. Guys can see me. Uh, it's a little, it doesn't really look censored, but. All right, that's what I have to do right there. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, stay, just work with me. Sleepy, I threw your stream out on IG, hoping to bring in some. Uh, I appreciate that, Sleepy. Not gonna lie, I've been a fan. You, you were kind of one of the first uh, YouTubers that really support my channel, so I do appreciate all of you done, man. And right, yeah, Toy King, yeah, Sleepy, what's up? Sleepy, you going live tonight? Let, let me know. Toy King, I'm actually going live tonight. Let us know, man. TK and Al Hunty had to stop this while I'm in Todd TV. Maybe it depends if I get back home before it's too late. I do it be around 10. Okay. Yeah, I should be done with this by 10. So um I know I'll be there. I should sorry, King and Nick will be there. And you know, everyone that's in here will go over to Sleepy later. Go check them out. So Geo, by the way, what collection is that Darth Vader? Um, you talking about this one by my head. <laughs> Um, this actually was a Chris birthday gift. Um, and I don't think it's a part of like the black series or anything like that. Um, not really sure what collection is part of, but it was a gift from someone, you know, very special. So I do, you know, I do, this is one of my favorite pieces. Oh, I don't think I get to, I don't get to show this on the time since so we on live. Let me just show you guys, you know, a little of what he does. Yeah, yeah, hold on. So you guys can hear him. Don't underestimate the power of the Force. I've been waiting for you, Obi-Wan. The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. But you are not the Jedi yet. You have learned much, young one. And then it does the breathing apparatus. And then look at this. And this is why it's my favorite. Hold on, let me. All right, let's get into the black series. I know that's what y'all want to see. I know that's what y'all came here for, the black series. You the fake guys being, yeah, be my friend. Be with you. Oh no, yeah, fake guys be with you, my friend. I'm gonna start with the kind of least favorite black series and then we're gonna go to like the more um sought after ones. We finished Cobra Kai Sleeping Collective. Christmas gift. It was a Christmas gift. Did this just move myself? So um I agree, Mal Maldonado. Was, it is an amazing gift. The voice is dope. Yo, is this you keep moving by yourself? Oh, my God. I'm going to need it to get it to, get it to freak together. Yeah, it's moving by itself. Mm 
<laughs> Slim Dose of the Voice is uh, dope. Gio, that video, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's fire, man. I love this shit. Awful. I'm all in all, I don't see the black. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry man. I'm sorry. I'm trying to just make sure y'all can see everything good. I like to have shit perfect, kind of. Simon says Vita move Vita moves and my phone using it. No, it had he had it too. Because I swear I had I didn't freak it touch a damn thing. Definitely was the force. <laughs> Alright, so first on the black series list is going to be Uh, it's going to be C3PO, you know, just regular Black Series, you know. I want the one with him and Chewbacca when his, like, legs are ripped off. No, for real. <laughs> More than all, no, really. I think this, um, I think this beta is uh, possessed because it keeps moving. But, yeah, it's my first C3, uh, Black Series figure, C3PO. Um, now, Black Series, I have at least over 20, so we have a good a, a good amount to go through. So, yeah, C3PO. Let me just put him to the side. Next is going to, I kind of already showed him earlier, a little snippet. Um, Lando Calrissian. Now... I usually wouldn't get Lando, but I think we all see what Lando this is. I mean, Glover. That's literally the only reason why I got him. I mean, he's a freaking icon. So, and if you look at him, like, if you actually look at him, he just looks so freaking wavy. Like, you could just tell he get bitches. You could tell he's been getting bitches, too. Like, he just give you that eye, like, yeah. Yeah, uh, I might sleep with your wife later. So you see him? And he also doing the people's eye too. I don't know what's up with them people. Oh, no, he's really doing it. But, yeah. Oh. But, yeah, Lando. Count Rissian. Remember, stick with me, guys. We are going to be doing a giveaway when I finish this Black Series. Um, so you stick with me. So, so far, C3PO and Lando. Geo said, I'm glad they, um, changed. Geo said, I'm glad they changed the box. I didn't like the red boxes. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the red boxes, but they're, they're decent. Just a, a nice face sculpt. I think you're talking about Lando? Yeah. Yeah, the eyebrow Brooks of the, the eyebrows is crazy. Um it looked like he got his eyebrows did by um Mac or something. Like he went to go get them done. Brooks said the detail is dope. That young Lando is fire. Slim Dog said, yeah, man. So next we have Obi Wan Force Spirit. And you know, all my um, you guys should all be familiar with this one. This is basically like the um, this is basically like the um, the Force Ghost. Yeah, like when he comes back and speaks to the Anakin and stuff like that. I mean Luke. <clears throat> so yeah. So it came to the next. So when did you start collecting? Um, I basically started collecting during the, basically during the pandemic. So I would say about, oh, uh, damn. 
trying to think exactly when I started, but um, it was definitely the last year during quarantine, like, I don't know, I want to say June, July of last year, I want to say. Uh, I think June or July of last year, I want to say, yeah. Maldonado, do you like the gaming greets, Black Suit? Yes, sir. I have some, too. Let me show you guys some. I think I have, like, three of them. I love them. Toy Kingdom, Nick, same about a year ago or, or so ago for me, too. Miss Collecting as a kid. Bro, for sure. Yeah, so when I was younger, I didn't collect figures. My mom would just buy them. I actually had a lot of um, wrestling figures when I was younger because I was into wrestling heavy when I was young. Um, you know, I didn't have cable growing up, so it was a lot of SmackDown when it used to just be on regular TV. Um, I, I remember Raw used to be on cable, so I only could watch SmackDown. So, um, yeah, I used to have a lot of Hot Wheels, wrestling figures, and really that was it. It was a lot of Hot Wheels and wrestling figures from what I can remember, but, um, I always loved having toys, like action figures. You know, I was a single child, so... That's it. You know, that was my time to, you know, have fun with myself. <laughs> Simon said around February is when the pandemic started. Okay. <clears throat> but next we have boom, Kylo Ren is my next fig. Now, I know. A lot of people aren't a big fan of the uh, last three movies that came out. Um, I, um, I, I can agree. I'm not really a big fan of the last three Star Wars movies, but I do, you know, I do like what they were trying to do with some of the movies, but um, could have been better. But yeah, there's Kylo Ren. I, you know, I, I was gonna get him regardless. You know, I do like his lightsaber, really. You know, that was something different that they did, uh, tried to do. Um, Toy Kingdom is Nick. Same, I used to wear my parents out going around the town looking for figs back in, back in the, uh, back in the KD Toys days. Yeah, man. Yeah, my, um... Yeah, my mom kind of always uh, just bought figures, you know, toys for me, so I wasn't. And I'm not going to lie, I used to get a lot of the uh, corner store toys, too, when I was younger, you know. I don't know if you guys, you know, if you've ever been to, like, if you've ever been up north, you know, I told you, I'm from New York, so if you've been to New York and been to the corner stores, like the toys that be at the top, yeah, those, those are a lot of my presents growing up, so. You know, as a kid, those were amazing, not going to lie. Now, as you get older, you know, you can kind of buy what you want now. Brooks, Brooklyn said, I love Hot Wheels. Yeah, Hot Wheels was always my favorite as a kid. Not really too much into it now, but, um, yeah, Hot, I think every kid was a fan of Hot Wheels at some point. Gio, I started a year ago, too, but I collect Funko Pops and Hot Wheels besides Star Wars. Okay. I got some Funko Pops for you, um, Gio. Got some Funko Pops. Uh, I'll show those after. Um, so next we have, I already showed this figure on Black, I mean, Vintage Collection, but I have it in Black Series as well. And this is the K2SO. It was just a bigger version. Same, you know, same thing. Um, let me see if I can just... Put it, put it side by side. So if you look, yeah. So that this is like you want to see like a size difference, the three inch point three point seven five, and then the six inch. But you same figure. And this one's actually pretty detailed. But yeah, I, I like this one. Rogue one.
Toy Kingdom Mix that Finn is my is my dude name, a dog after. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> now Finn is yeah, Finn is probably one of my favorite characters from the newer movies. You know. And then, you know, outside of the movie, you know, I, I kind of just like him as an actor as well and what he stands for. So I, I really, me you know, I've messed with that dude a lot. All right. So we're going, we're, we're getting to some good ones now. These, these is probably what you guys want to see. You know, so we first, Anakin. Okay, let me kind of go down so I can see this. Yeah, that might be better for me to do it like that. So we got that Anakin Skywalker pattern on. You can kind of even see he looks super young in this way. Got that blue sable on him. I like how it says the pattern on, on the box too. But yeah, I think that's... Yeah, this is good. Maldonado, the own Cad Bane Black Series. I, I guess you're going to find out maybe soon. Um, but yeah. Here's Anakin Skywalker. Let me get a little close up for you guys. Young Face Annie. Annie? That's really long. <laughs> This is my favorite part. Uh, I think that was um, Clone Wars, I think it was. It was like Annie. Whole time he trying to hit. She, she like Annie. I know. So he came to the same. I remember him in that Attack the Block movie. I'm not sure which. which, which a uh, movie took on Attack the Block movie. Maldonado, I'm, I'm missing Kit Visto, Plo Cool, the droid from that wave. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Kit Visto and Plo Cool, I need those. Need. <laughs> but here's Anakin, man. So. Next, we're going to get to it's one of the uh, bigger boxes. Not bigger, but that Luke Skywalker and Yoda. Now, let me tell you about this figure right here. Because online, currently, this figure is like $44, which I just don't understand how it even has that price tag. I think on GameStop, it's showing for like $44, but... I promise you guys, I still have the receipt for this figure when I put, I do see all my receipts from all my figures. I literally bought this for less than $20. Like, less than $15 for real, for real. Like, this was during, like, around that Black Friday month when it was just deals literally every day. Yeah, this is when I purchased this. So, I don't understand how it got to $44, but I guess you should have. You know, I should have. I wanted to pick up one more. I kept seeing it in Walmart. Just kept, you know, I should have been picked up another one. That's Anakin from Attack of the Clones. Yeah, that's Anakin from Attack of the Clones for sure. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna try to. Keep the, yeah. If you know any of my videos, that's all I do is drop figures. Oh, it might be Vader pushing them, so you keep testing me. I'm gonna get thrown across the room. Toy Kingdom next. Check out the Attack of the Block. It's a good movie. It's one of Finn's first movie. Okay, John. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all yeah, gotta check that Attack of Attack. Oh, Attack the Block. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna look that up. Definitely gonna look that up. Gio, I think that Luke and Yoda's worth. No, this Luke is definitely worth it. And then you have to see, like, I wanted another one so I could take out the box, but when he carries him, let me show you guys the back, too. 
But yeah, when he carries Yoda, it looks so cool. Hold on, what? Maldonado, the Yoda Luke has a second head for Yoda, does? Like in the pack, or you mean like. Oh, shit, hold on. Yo, what? <laughs> Yo, I never knew that. I could see the other. Like, of course, you can't see it, but right, like, behind this picture. Hold on. Right behind this picture, like, I could kind of see it at the corner. If I put the light. Yeah, it's another Yoda head. Wow. I, that is crazy. I, I didn't know that at all. Damn, now I really want another one now. <laughs> All right, let's, keep, let's continue, guys. Oh, let me bring these closer. So, uh, Maldonado, I believe you're the one who asked about the gaming series. So, first one. I'm going to start with um, Stormtrooper Commander. Crazy. Game the series one. But yeah, um, this is one. This was my. No, this wasn't my first game the series online, but this is one of the game the series I figured that I do have. Jesus, and now it's definitely worth it, but now for sure. <laughs> but yeah, this figure is crazy, man. I like how they put the dirt on them too. Like, oh my god! Like, look, it looks like he's been through some shit. Like, <laughs> oh, but yeah, this is that game. The game and greets. Oof, this one is nice. I love this one. I'm not gonna lie to ya. That's that stormtrooper commander. This is of course from the force. So this is from the video game, of course. You guys are wondering. So let's put that right here. Let's get to the next one, y'all. Oh, the notes I'm missing that command though. Yeah, um, another game stop by me. Got a few of those. Slim Dog, did you get the Purge Trooper? No, damn, man, I want that one too. Yeah, but I have, I have my eye on that one. Oh, I couldn't get my hands on it yet though. Soon though, believe that. Next, I got that Shadow Trooper though. Oof, this one. Oof, look at like this one. Crazy. This one is crazy. Yeah. Crazy. This no, this one is really one of my favorites because look like if you look close, like just look at the the accents on the. Like bro, look. Oof. Then look at the gun. Look at the big sniper or whatever. Like, this one is crazy. This, yeah, this one's, yeah, I, I went crazy in the soul when I found this one. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to be harder to find, but I actually had a few. But yeah, this one is. I'm going to keep all the game and greets up here for now until I show the last one. I think you guys know which the last one is. So, um, I get the new Archive Cody. No, I only have two Archive. I'm going to show you guys those soon. Simon asked that. But, um, nah, I didn't get to it yet. No, hold on. Let's 
told you I have my memory going bad. Clearly, I have too much, too many figures. I do have, I had to check. I'm like, hold on, Cody. I do have Cody. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you see that silence? Come on, Sam. You're trying to get to the good ones before we, you know, you mean, we're going to get there. <laughs> so, like, that's the one you need? Yeah, man. Um, GameStop has been having those, so check that. I think online, too. But, um, yeah, definitely check that. Oh, you have all the gaming base that I'm missing, Maldonado said. I only have three homes. Let me show you my last one. This this one, ah, uh, I, I already showed it, but this is one of my this is in my top five, hands down. Django Fett. This is in my top five, hands down. I'm a, always been a fan of Django Fett. This one go crazy. This one goes crazy. Gia said, that looks amazing. Appreciate it, bro. Maldonado, have you seen the Cal Kista game and Great Deluxe that is coming out soon? Um, I don't, the Deluxe one? I don't think I've seen it. I'm going to check it out. It's going to get open. I didn't know that. But this one is crazy, bro. Two guns and come on, bro. Look at this. This is crazy. That's a th see. This is why I need Boba Fett now. But um, Django Fett is my now. This oh yeah, I told you I was gonna let you know which ones I ordered. This is the one I ordered. Django Fett from GameStop. That's why the the box is in like immaculate condition. Simon said the cow kiss is on my is on my radar for sure. I like high up that feel you. So the kingdom make man, I was hard to find Jingo. That's a tough yo. Very hard to find, I'm not gonna lie. As soon as I seen I pulled the trigger, no hesitation. Gio said, damn Jingo, yeah. I know Jingo is a lot of people's favorite. You know, the original clone trooper forever. Bro. A jingle feds a must, Maldonado said. Yeah. All right. So these are my game and greets right there. I think it's still some I'm missing, but these are the ones that, that I believe I needed. <laughs> so let's get these out of here. Let's keep, let's keep it going, y'all. Next, we have now this one I didn't show on. Um, I never showed on my toy hunt. Can you guys guess? Hold on, oh, no, I already showed it there, but yeah, my Hondo and Naka. I was gonna see if I could guess which one it was from the side, but I already kind of showed this face for you. Hondo and Naka, man, the pirate in the flesh. This is another good one. I found this one at Target. Gio said the one gaming grade that I'm missing is the Dark Raven. Yeah, the Dark Raven is a good one. I have yet to even see that in any toy store. Like, sheesh. Um, Maldonado Sahano's Galaxy Edge. Yeah, Hondo and Naka. All my uh, Clone Wars cartoon fans, man. Hondo Naka, I fell in love with, you know, during that cartoon. Not gonna lie. But have, I wish I had the, they have a Hondo Naka vintage collection. And on the card, when I say Hondo Naka looks so ugly on that card, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, Maldonado, you did. Yeah, you are right. He was in Rebels as well. That is right. He was better in the Clone Wars cartoon, though, because remember when he captured Count Dooku? Hondo Naka captured Count Dooku, Obi Wan, and Anakin. Like, come on. Don't sleep on the pirates. Like, come on. And he's a drunk. <laughs>
Gio, we're good. I don't buy it when I see one. I won't buy the short. Bro, I, I know the pain. It's okay. I'm sure I'm sure you'll find another one in a while eventually. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, the dark breathing breathing you was talking about. Okay. Hey. Next time, you better hide that sucker and come back and try to come back and get it. Like sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So guys, that uh, I have 12 left, well, 13, 13 left, so hang on, hang with me, um, I'm going to show the black shirts and then we can get into this uh, giveaway real quick, so yeah, just hang in there with me, guys. So, next we have... Admiral Akbar. Um, this is from Return of the Yeah, Return of the Jedi. Now these are kind of more of the cases everyone likes. These newer ones, even I like as well. Look at that. Yeah, the Admiral Akbar. No, then I also check Jedi Knight Raven gaming greets on eBay. Okay, hopefully for good prices. Yeah, Simon. See, Simon agreed. Nothing wrong with hiding those figs, man. We, we not playing no games this year. 2020, they wasn't playing fair. We can't play fair when it comes to toy hunting. Sometimes you gotta hide that sucker. So, but yeah, it's um, Admiral Alkmaar. I actually like this figure. You know, he kind of has like the, um, you know, his, uh, I guess um army uniform on or whatever. Yeah, it's a cool figure. Oh, excuse me, guys. Oh. So there you go. Next we have it's gonna be a lot. This is another one of my faves. Clone Trooper uh, Lieutenant. This is from Attack of the Clones, yeah. Another, another hard, now this is a, a hard one to find, I'm not gonna lie. Most of my, these figures too, there's literally like one left in the store. So it was like, you know, it was just really just a come down to timing. You know, so you guys can see that. Phase one. Clone Trooper Lieutenant. Slum Dog, yeah, those cases are dope. Yeah, I agree, man. The, the newer ones, they, these are the best cases they've made so far. You, got, you get the back art, you get the, the side, you know, and then it's like they all have their own piece. Each movie has their own kind of color wave. Yeah, Gio. That's why I love the new boxes for the art on the side. I agree, man. I'll probably just leave these here so you guys can kind of just check, um, check them out. I don't have, I don't have, I don't have a complete series for them for any one movie. So, you know, kind of is what it is. Uh, Glaze, Cali, hey, dude, what's going on, Glaze? What's going? On? I uh, appreciate you coming to check out the uh, live. Appreciate it, Nick and Gio. Glaze, you subbed. I appreciate that much. Love. I'm definitely going to check it, check out your channel when I get done here. Um, Maldonado. Who doesn't love Clone Trooper? No, for real. Uh, I'm a big Clone Trooper fan. You know? Cause it's like they all look the same, but they all try to be their own different character, which is like fire to me. Um, so Maria, let me understand. You're going to choose a winner of the ones that are watching. Want to let them choose one of the figures. Um, so Maria, the way I'm going to do the giveaway 
is just, you know, if you're in the live and I start the giveaway, I'm basically just, you know, I'm gonna make it real, real simple. I don't wanna make one of these complicated giveaways. Probably just gonna like write down the number out of one to whatever. Um, write it down. Have you guys guess in the chat whoever gets it. You know, we could you could kind of choose what gift you want. Now, the figures I'm showing are not the uh, gifts that I'm giving. You know, I have a comic book, some GI Joe figs, Funk Pops. Um, Home pops, and I'm just trying to see what else I have here. And I believe these Halo figs, one of uh, one of the Halo figs. So, you know, if you see any, if you see, you know, I'll let you guys choose what gift you want, or I may just choose for you. I haven't really decided. I'm just kind of going to remix it as I go, and then I'll probably do it. I'll probably do two giveaways today. So give, you know, two people a chance to get something um, just to make it fair. But, you know, you will have to be the only uh, rule is, is that you will have to be subscribed to the channel, of course. And that's about it. Um, I'll give you other details to my Instagram where you guys can go over there, DM me your address, and I'll be sending that off within, you know, a day or two. So that's basically it, Maria. You know, nothing too complicated. It's, Well, now I'm missing the clone of Phase One Trooper. Yeah, I have I have yet to see that one again. So, Glaze, I'm all watching the series and still do. Bro, to this day I could still watch all the Star Wars movies easily. And if it's like that, do you send international internationally, uh, Maria? I will send internationally. Yes, that is right. Maldonado, do you own Commando by Black Series? No, I do not. And yeah, thank you. Appreciate it, Gia. No, that's just my collection. Glaze, I really need a clone in my collection. Yeah, the clones are going, they're, they're selling fast. People love the clones, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Next, we got another clone. Speaking of clones, yeah, I already know which one this one is. You can tell that holiday edition. I found this one at GameStop. If you've seen what some of my toy hunt, y'all would have seen this one. Um, this is another favorite. This is one of my favorite holiday edition clone troopers. Commando. No, the novice that come in, the Bly Black Series, such an amazing thing. I believe that's the one with the gold. He has the gold kind of outfit on, if I'm not mistaken. Glaze, I just hit 100. Feels good. Hey, congrats to you, Glaze. I think I just hit 100 as well. So, um, everyone go check out, you know, Glaze channel. Um, he just hit 100 subscribers. I congrats to you, man. We got to keep working and supporting each other and, you know. Hopefully we can get to 100, 100K, you feel me? From 100 to 100K. Maria, no problem. Make sure you stay, stick around for the uh, giveaway too, Maria. Sun Dog, congrats, Glaze, on 100, yeah. Glaze, my friend's bugging me about it. About collecting figures? What you talking about, Glaze? Your friends are bugging you about what? I hope it's not about action figures because at the end of the day, you know, but um, yeah, Glaze, at the end of the day, man, if you're not being you, I'm sorry, at the end of the day, you, you can only be you. So if your friends are building you over action figures and they, they clearly not really your friends, man, you know? I'm not afraid to tell nobody that I collect action figures and, you know, that I like Star Wars. You know, if, you, if they're not into it, they're not into it. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm not going to change for no one else. And, you know, you got to, you got to only, you got to be you. So, 
it clear, you know, you need to either reevaluate who your friends are, if that's the case. So, next we have Marvin up with the gold lines. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that one is sick. I'm not going to lie. I don't have it yet. I haven't seen that one only online. Simon said the, the holiday is not it. It's not, I understand, man. It's okay. I mean, I'm a fan. I don't know. I like it. That's what I said. I was, I was, uh, I was kind of hesitant at first when buying it, but once I brought it, I kind of started to fall in love with it. So he came to mix it. Sometimes YouTube would take away your sub count. They'll still be subbed, but they'll like review it or something. Then they'll add them back. Okay. Um, yeah, it's it's funny that you say that too. Yeah, because I've got notification I got a sub, and I'll see it go up, and then when I check back later, it'll go like back down. So maybe that's what that was. I don't know. Yeah, more than up. Yeah, the Christmas edition are really expensive on the secondary market. Yeah, those prices are going up. And imagine next year when it comes around to Christmas, if they don't re-release those, those are going to be probably worth some money. But um, I don't plan on selling. You know, I actually have one that's in pretty decent condition, so I'm going to try and uh, keep it. I need to get these cases, man, because, you know, let's keep it going, y'all. Sorry. Glaze, I told you, man, if they love you for your Star Wars love, then they're not your friend. I mean, if they bully you because of your Star Wars love, they're not your friend. Boom, is my album of throng again, y'all. So this is one of my latest pickups. Grand Admiral Throng. You know? First time they showed him was in the Rebels TV show, which was amazing. Gio said, YouTube is weird, bro. <laughs> so, Keenan, okay, I said you have 95 for me. Eight, eight now, but it'll say 100 plus or whatever it is by tomorrow for sure. Okay. I haven't even actually checked to see where it's at, but... um. Once I finish these black series, as long as it says 100 or... I mean, people already congratulate on 100, so I'm assuming it shows 100, and then... So, okay, oh, God, it's G. <laughs> you got that long at GameStop, M Maldonado said. No, I got this from um, Walmart. Yeah, Walmart. Go check out my last... Go, go check out my last... Well, no, I didn't record this when I brought, brought it, but... More than all, if you check out my last video, you'll see they had the other ar archive uh, figures there. So go check that out. Um, take this off. Since we're showing our archive, let me show you guys the Commander Cody as well. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think in the movie, Commander Cody is the one who received the Order 66 um, from Info Palpatine. You know, the movie was Execute Order number 66. I think it was Commander Cody, if I'm not mistaken. That was like a monumental part. I'm pretty sure it was Cody, but. Slim dog thong smooth as hell, bro. Too smooth with the red eyes too. Glaze, I'm planning on making more Star Wars videos. I gotta check you out, Glaze. Maldonado Cody. <laughs> that Cody, bro. Gio said that Cody, bro. Appreciate it, man. Glaze, Co oh, okay. There's a lot of Cody fans. Right. I need that facts. Simon said those two right there is picture perfect. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, they, these are these are a must. I was bro, I was in the store so happy. Too happy. Throng, I've been waiting on Throng for a while. Oh man. It felt it felt so good to actually finally get them. 
it then be for twenty dollars too. See, in the store it'd be twenty dollars, but if you look online, it's like twenty two or twenty four. This is why I go to the store because you get that retail price, like the price it's supposed to be. They always trying to upcharge just to, you know. Maldon, okay, I was right. Okay, Gio too. So yeah, um, yeah, he was the one who received the um, the order for you know order sixty six. It was Commander Cody. So order number sixty six. That bro, that was like the craziest part. I don't. Glee said, "I don't. I think he meant to say I'd do anything for that, <laughs> bro." Appreciate it, appreciate it. Clay said, bring Rex or some clones, that's not it. All right, but you guys see these too. So let's, uh, let's get to the next one. I don't wanna, you guys been with me in the chat. I mean, you guys been watching my life for, I think we just hit the two hour mark. So let me try to get through these rests and then get through this uh, giveaway. I'm sorry guys. I'm going to show just, you know, just grow cool. Grow, grow, I said grow cool. Grow cool. <laughs> Looks like it's grow cool. <laughs> grow cool and, and grow, 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 grow. Man, I know what I'm talking about. This little guy. <laughs> uh, this was super cheap on Black Friday. I see people selling this for like $20 on secondary market. Like, Freaking crazy if you throw it. I was paying that. Geo, that scene is the order 66. Yeah, that is just amazing, bro. Oh, D. Glaze, this is why I saw you seeing you. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm cool, man. This is the stuff I like, man. That's all. Um, I think Geo, you was the one asking about the blue leader. If I'm not mistaken, was it this one? Finally got to it. Now this one is damaged if you see that top. But other than that, this is the one from the Empire Strikes Back. Ooh. This one is nice. Now this like the details from this and and this are basically the same like, if you look. I mean, he just has this like big jacket part, but. And then this, this is actually a vintage, vintage collection, um, Rogue One Vader, this little one right here. So I have a few Vaders, if you could. Uh, I mean, you thought Vader was my favorite. I, mean, I do like Vader, that's one thing. Maldonado, Todd, and then Jaren, Global Pack is hard to come, bro. That is a fact. I see people selling the Din Jaren Global Pack for over a hundred dollars, like close some two hundred something dollars, a hundred. It's like the prices have just gone insane, bro. So I got the bag. Ooh, that is nice. Nice, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I love this one. More than not, so I wish I had it. Yeah, this one I, I haven't I only seen one time. G, okay, this is the one you were talking about. So yeah, but that's the one I'm missing, bro. Yeah, this one is hard to find. Not gonna lie. Clay said I'm about to post a Vader and soccer edit. I gotta check it out. Soka, so sad how Anakin, how now. Evil just sad. I mean, yeah, it, it, I'm not gonna say sad. <laughs> I mean, the, the kid was born into slavery, it's kind of like it's like he was meant to kind of turn to the dark side, and that, like you know, just like in the movies, the chosen one, he really was the chosen one, you know. He... Oh, I thought I broke this for a second, but um. Yeah, I don't really think it's sad that he went to the dark side, you know, he'd been through some stuff in life. There's like in real like a lot of that a lot of the movie has to do with real life stuff. 
dude was born into slavery. Like, not many people are going to be on a straight path all their life just from being born into slavery and then their mother getting killed. Um, you know, so the dude doesn't have a pops. So <laughs> it's like, you feel me? He's being influenced by people that's in the dark side. So it was, it's kind of meant to, it was going to happen eventually. You feel me? Well, then also I had that Veda too, but I'm missing the carbonized on the art on the carbonized. That Veda is incredible. Yeah, I want that carbonized so bad, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I need that carbonized one. Um, here's another one out the Empire Strikes Back. And this is, um, who's this again? Rebel Trooper Hoth, right? So, yeah, Rebel Trooper Hoth. Brooklyn said, Walgreens by my house has a lot. I was actually surprised. They had, they had a few black series too. Yeah, you, you, um, some, well, most of the Walgreens is, I don't know, for, I don't know for me, by me, they haven't been having a lot, but sometimes you do get lucky and sometimes they do sit there. Clay said, I'm going to go on a hunt tomorrow. Yeah, you say best of luck to you, man. Best of luck to you. So this is, now you know how these make the picture, but these two aren't, yeah. So these don't make the picture, but they still look good together. All right, we got five left, guys. Hang in there. Five left, five left. So, from the Mandalorian, we have the armor. Um, from the Mandalorian show, main series. Do you know? I'm so in love with the um, Mandalorian, so you know this is this is going to get bored no matter what. Not gonna hold you. I am not gonna hold you. This is getting bored no matter what. You only missing loop from the Empire shirt, but no, I have loop. Yeah, show loop with the um, with the airplane. He had the uh, pilot suit on. I have loop. I think, I think that's the Simon asked, do, I, do you have Zed? No, I don't. Glaze, I have the Yoda. Empire Strikes Back, yeah, I have the Yoda, but I don't have any Yoda for a Black Series. So. Next, now this is one of the most hated. <laughs> that Jar Jar, one of the most hated for some reason. One of the most hated. <laughs> Why do people hate this guy so much? I really need to know. I mean, like, come on, this thing is sick. The detail it comes with multiple weapons, like. Why do, why do people hate this guy? Jar Jar Binks. Why do you guys hate this guy? Please tell me. But, uh, yeah. That's Jar Jar. Let's get to the next one, guys. Put that right there. Okay, I see my comments is coming in slow on here. That's I think that's what's kind of slow. Jar Jar's deluxe. Yeah. Toy Kingdom, I can't wait to see your setup before those in the box on the top. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, I can't wait. I'm trying to, like I said, I had them all on the wall. So I'm trying to um, wait till I get the plastic, you know, boxes for them so they could stick on the wall properly. 
I'll probably get like the LED lights. I got some other stuff I'm gonna kind of add. So in due time, you know, we both gonna be on this uh, toy hunt journey. So I'm sure you know both our setups are gonna be unique, you know, in the in the coming future. Sign me down. Hey, John, they just hate the price. Yeah, man. It's, I think it's like thirty, thirty-five dollars. Yeah. I was kind of upset at that too, but I mean it comes with extra items, so. Uh, but yeah, that's that's a bit much. G of Georgia was dope. Thank you, man. I, I knew I was the only one that was in love with Georgia. Like, I need to put some respect on put some respect on Georgia name, man. I need both of them Georgia to cool. They appreciate it, some dog. I think this is um who's. Can't remember who was just talking about the. I appreciate all the comments too, guys. Um, for real, this is really, you know, I thought the going live was going to be a little um, difficult being in front of the camera, but you guys are making this very easy and comfortable for me. So I appreciate you guys. Um, I'm trying, I was trying to figure out who was talking about the. Dinjaren. Dinjaren. And Grogu, yeah, man, yeah, man. Such a, this such a, you know, no, this is what people be looking for. This one is a, this is one that's going for over a hundred dollars on the second day. Shit, some over two hundred people have it at, but then Jaren, then Jaren and the child. Oof, this one is sick, bro. Yo, matter of fact, go check out my other, after this live, go check out my other videos, man. And I have a video on how I actually got this one. So it's a pretty cool story. The dude from, um, you know, I kind of got cool with one of the dudes from Target. He hit, he actually put one in the back for me when they restocked. And that's kind of the only way I was able to get one. So Brooklyn said that Jar Jar is slick. That's a fact. Maldonado, you're also missing the probe of joy from the Empire. I know exactly. I think you're talking about the black one. Yeah. Online, those those are, I've checked online. Those are um, they're going for a little bit of money. That's why. You have almost completed the Empire Strikes Back line. Yeah, for the Vintage Collection facts. Looking so now, that's a fine. That's a fact. That's a fact. Maldonado, that's your best pickup for sure. Yeah, hands down. Hands down. Hands down. I need a case for it too. Because I feel like one day this is going to be like a $500 thing. I'm not going to lie to you. Like a few years. Geo, so I couldn't find it in stores, so instead I bought the Mando Best Car and Goku separately. Hey, that's not wrong with that. So you bought the you bought Mando, and then you bought one of these on the child separately. Okay, the only thing you're missing it really is just the little um, freaking the baby carriage. <laughs> I mean, basically what it is. His little baby seat. Put these to the side. Um, so we got two left, guys. Two left. So this is just a Han Solo indoor. This is the Return of the Jedi. I mean, Han got the the. You can pee coat on, whatever the camo pee coat on the plate. This one's pretty sick. I like this one. Yeah, okay. So you got the Mando and then you got the Grogu, the child. So, okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, those are both gonna go for a lot of money, uh, especially just the Mandalorian. I still want the Mando Best Car too. Um, Toy Kingdom, Nick, you got some Black Series. Go appreciate that, man. Just 
you know, I just tell you how it go, man. Sometimes you find some gems, sometimes you, you know, you find some regular things. Maldonado, also have Mando Besco, I'm going to be separate. Okay. Yo, that Mando Besco, I still want it. That, those, those are going to go up in price. So, y'all hold on to them. Remember, we aren't, we're not doing this to resell, man. We're just holding on to them. I think you guys know my last, well, if you guys follow my videos, I think you guys know my last Black Series pig is. Now, after Mando and the Child, this is my favorite pig. Hands down. I mean, Cad Bane. Ooh, this one is sick, bro. First of all, if you watch the Clone Wars cartoon, you already know how Cad Bane give it up. He, he, he's one of those bounty hunters that don't play. Don't trust nobody. Don't play. I still want that set with the um, Cad Bane. And he comes with like that robot. I forgot his name. It's something like a Black Ace. Brooks at Han Solo is, is how Harrison for a game I respect. I love the pizza and the favorite and mecha, impeccable. I agree. Keep that up for you. And you don't miss that one. Yeah, he's a, he's a legend, not gonna lie. Legend. Gia, well, that pack in Mexico goes for 125 in the second inning line. That's, that's ridiculous. I mean, it's not ridiculous, it's expected, but it's just like, damn. I paid retail. That's how I was just like, I can't pay over retail. Oh, Cad Bane, I did pay over retail. I think it was $30, if I'm not mistaken. 30 or 40. I think it was 30. Though. I think it was 30. Maldonado. Cad Bane is one of my favorites, too. Facts. Geo, that Cad Bane Deluxe is all. Yeah, the Deluxe pack. Yeah, that one is. I don't get that one. I, I'm not. You know, it's, it's going for. It's going for a lot, though. So, Kingdom Nick, I need that man knowing the child song was walking out the aisle with all of them on me. Oh, man. I know you was ready to freaking super kick his ass and take that shit. <laughs> oh, man. I would have been like, bro, maybe we could work something out or something. But like, knowing that person, he probably wasn't going to give that up anyway. But um, yeah, it's always about timing when it comes to these toy hunts. Um, so, yeah, that, that completes my vintage collection and Black Series, man. Well, then all that figure that I want the most now are the Dark Raiden Carbonized or the General Grievous. Yeah, I think they're um, re-releasing General Grievous soon. Um, maybe, you know, I'll leave these two up there. My two favorite. But yeah, um, something that would have drop kicked that person. <laughs> we, we, us toy hunters are willing to go to jail for a good, um, for a good pickup. Please, let me see if I can win this giveaway. I'm looking for clones and Jedi and one. Now I don't want to get y'all mistaken. I'm not, um, I'm not giving away any black series, you know. So I hope I hope you guys are not getting confused. Toy King, I was punching the air like boy. <laughs> I know the feeling, bro. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna show you guys uh which is the you know the show is only six people in here, but let's get this um giveaway started. I'm gonna show you guys what you know option, you know, what toys I'm actually gonna plan on giving away. And you guys could kinda you know, whoever wins the first one, you could choose which one you want, and then you can kind of just move, go from there, and then I'll probably do another one. So I'll probably do two giveaways. Yeah. One, one second. I literally just have like toys. Oh man, I'm like kind of buried in toys over here. Yeah.
Yeah, be the moving the toys, man. Um, where's my Oh man, I literally have like I'm kinda like buried in toys like those like they're everywhere. Alright, this oh where's my other I had another GI Joe I want to give away. Um, so you, I see there's more people in here, so we're doing the giveaway in a few seconds, but I'm just getting the toys ready to show which ones I'm giving away. Some fun pops too. If you guys are interested, every color. These are the, some of these are from fun pops from my uh, video. Boom boom. Peter and the gold one. And then we also have. Uh, Halo. We got two Halo figs. I'm gonna grab all of them. Like, if that's the clone or Storm I don't know why that dude did that. Shake my head. Uh, on the Soka rattle bomb, this Clone Wars one. So I just need a Soka for real, for real. Gee, oh, I missed that. Gee, so I'm missing a Soka Clone Wars too. Simon, there goes the time. Oh, you heard me? I just dropped all this stuff. Alright, so. I mean, if you guys are into Funk Pops, this should be an option as well. You know, so I got some Hulk Funk Pops. These are going to be what I'm willing to give away. G.I. Joe. I'm pretty sure this one is going to go fast. <laughs> um. Can't put everything, but and then of course, I also said the comic book as well as so will be a part of the giveaway. Um, so. This is kind of how I wanted to do it, guys. Um, I hope you guys are ready. So, basically, I'm just gonna write down. And, oh, I only got pen. Hold on, one second, guys. Let's see if I can get up without knocking everything down. One second, guys. Get a pen. Okay, so I don't really need to be in the video anymore. Since I'm doing the giveaway. 
Yes, Maldonado, keep your fingers crossed, my man. Um, I seen when you hit the Walmart for the Funk Pops. Yeah, these are some of the Slim Dog. These are some of the Funk Pops from that Walmart trip. Yeah, I just wanted to save a few for the giveaway. Or Rio's that a Halo figure six inch? No, that's a three inch. But I do have a six inch, and I will include it. Uh, where the hell did I put it? So that's the three inch. This is the six inch. So Maria, this is the six inch if you are interested. Okay, so I'll include the six inch table as well. So this is the six inch. This is the three inch. That's right, so you can appreciate it. All right, so so guys, if you're ready, I could just pause in the chat for a second. Let me just explain the rules. So of course, in order to win the giveaway, you do have to be um, subscribe to the channel so don't I would suggest you subscribe it now so that if you do win I don't want to check and then you're not subscribing and you know I can't send you the, the, the item so basically what I'm going to do is just write a number on a sticky note here um, I'm going to do that right now and basically the number is going to be from we have what eight people in the chat, so I'm just gonna do from one to thirty. One to thirty. Pick so it's basically just gonna be like you're just gonna comment a number uh from one to thirty. Um and basically, you know, you have to get the number that I have written down. Um now if no one gets that number, we'll just do another round until someone wins. I'm going to try to pick two winners. So first, it'll be the first winner. I'll have them pick the items that they want. And then, of course, the second winner, we had to pick the items he want. Um, now you're probably curious, how many items can I get? So um, I would say about three items. And it kind of depends because I don't want you to, I don't want someone to get all of the GI Joe figs. So if you get a GI Joe fig, of course you'll be able to get like a Funk Pop and a Halo or a GI Joe and two Funk Pops or maybe, of course you wouldn't be able to get both Halos, but one of the Halo, a Funk Pop, a GI Joe, or maybe, oh, you guys want to see the comic book? Maldonado, there you go. There's the this is the comic book if you are interested. That would count as one uh toy. So again, it's three toys. Um now funk pops, you can buy all three because I do have duplicates, so it'll be okay. No slum dog, not yet. Not yet, not yet. Don't drop the number yet. I just explained in the rules, but um yeah, these are all the toys. Again, you'll be able to pick three toys. Um, and then we'll do another round. So giving another person a chance to win some stuff as well. And yeah, I'll send everything out for, to you guys. So um, again, it's going to be from one to 30, 30. It's going to be from one to 30. Okay. So once I write down the number, I'll tell you guys when you guys can begin. I'll give you guys a few seconds to write, you know, put your numbers in the chat. And then I'll show the number and we'll go from there. So it's gonna be one from 30. I'm actually writing the number down now. One second. Uh, 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 uh. I'm trying to think of a good number, guys. Uh, one second.
So just to show that I'm not changing my number once you guys put it in the chat, I'm going to put it right there. So I'm just going to flip it around. So if you guys don't mind, if you could just drop your numbers in the chat right now. I'll give you guys a few seconds to do that. Slim Dog, please drop another number down, bro. Bro, I'm not going to count that one. So if you guys can, just drop down your numbers, please. And just drop down one number, please. Just one number. I already wrote it down. It's on this sticky note. I'll turn it down once I'm able to see some numbers in the chat. So drop down your numbers. Everyone, drop down your numbers. I'm going to give you a few seconds. Okay, I see 24, 10, 21. Let's go. Simon entered his number. Gio entered his number. Brooke entered his number. Maria entered her number. Toy Kingdom entered his number. Maldonado entered his number. So that's about seven. So I think that's about everyone that's in the chat. Uh, Slim Dog. Um. You know, if you don't enter another number, I'm just go with that number you entered here. But, yeah. Okay, did Yeah, thank you, sir. So, we're going with that. Um, So, I think that's about everyone that's in here. Um, Just going to give it a few extra seconds. Don't enter any. You know, if you already entered your number, can we just wait? <laughs> I'm, all, I'm gonna have a heart attack <laughs> but um yeah just be patient um just want to see if there's anyone else gonna just give it a few extra seconds and then i'm just going to turn over the sticky note and we'll see who won so i think that's about it that uh, all the people that entered so Um, Brooks and Maria and Slum have the same number. Okay, that's not a problem. If you guys had the same number, then we'll just, um, you know, oh, well, yeah, that's true. I mean, that would complicate things, but, you know, we could, we could definitely figure it out. I don't want you guys to keep putting numbers, so that's fine. We'll figure it out, but, um. I think that's about everyone who dropped the number. Okay, so Slim Dog is going with 26. All right, that's it, Slim Dog. So I appreciate that, man. So I'm, I'm just going to flip over my sticky. And unfortunately, my number was 29, guys. <laughs> I really thought someone was going to pick 29, I swear. It was one out of 30. So no one won this round. I apologize. Okay, so I thought this was gonna be <laughs> Yeah, Maldonado Slum chose three numbers, right? Um yeah, Glenn, you're a little late, sir. <laughs> he tried to pull the fast one. Nah, he just commented that a minute ago after I showed the number, so he didn't win nothing. Um but Glenn, you gotta do it while the numbers are open. That's not fair. So we're going to do another round, guys. Um, since there's only uh, like 10 people, I'm going to shorten the amount of numbers. This time, guys, just one number, please. I got to make it fair for everyone. Just one number. So I'm going to, it was 29. No one won this one. Glenn, sorry, you didn't win. Put it in too late once I showed the number. I don't can't finesse it, finesse it. But hey, I appreciate you trying. So, I'm going to throw that one. I'm going to write down a new number. Everyone, one number, please. Just one number. You have to be a subscriber and just one number. Maldonado, Glenn did not win. Commented once I posted the number. He did not win. Um, so, it's going to be from 1 to 30. Uh... 
There's only 10 people, so I'm going to just make it one. Uh, I'm going to make it... I feel like I should shorten the range so someone could win this time. So I'm going to do... I'm going to comment in the chat from one to... One to 20. From one to 20... Let me write down my number first. All right, my number is written down. Guys, comment down your numbers. If you see someone comment your number, do not comment it again, please. And just one number, one to 20. If you see someone that comments your number, please do not comment the same number. And everyone, just one number. Come on, guys. I want to give these toys away. My number is right here, so I'm not cheating. It's already written down. Just waiting on you guys to um, comment and, and um, trying to make this fair for everyone. So, Okay, so the numbers I see are... 12, Maldonado, Gio, E, Simon, 10, Eddie, 2, Maria, 7, Toy Kingdom, uh, 14, Glaze, 3, Glenn, 17, Brooklyn, 11, and Slumdog, 20. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That looks like everyone... That looks like everyone that's in the chat. Gonna give just a few extra seconds just in case my stuff is delayed. Um, I think that's everyone though. If you haven't comment, but I think that's everyone. So, okay, that this is the last one. Two toasty four. So I'm gonna comment. Done. So no one else can put their numbers. I'm going to turn around my number. Seventeen. <laughs> so Glenn did win. Yeah, Glenn won. Tried to finesse me the first time, but he he um actually won this time. So. <laughs> Glenn is the winner. Let's go. Everyone, congrats uh, to Glenn. Now, everyone stick around. We're going to be doing one more round. Uh, first, Glenn, I need you to choose uh, what, what, uh, what uh, items you want. Remember, you get to choose three items, only one G.I. Joe fig, um, and only one Halo fig if you're interested. We also have the Fantastic Four comic book. Yeah, Glenn was determined to win this shit. <laughs> oh, the Glenn, I won for real. Yeah, you won. You won, Glenn. I'm gonna need you to pick what you want so I can uh, move it to the side and we can um choose. I, you know, I, the, for the second round, they can see what's available. So, congrats to Glenn. Glenn P. I need you to uh, just write in the chat with with uh, what items you want, and then we can get to this next round. Um, now, Glenn, I'm going to need you to go to, when we're done, I'm going to need you to go to my Instagram, which is, one second, sad that I don't know it by heart. So, Glenn is going to be Thai TV 93. All right, so, Glenn, you get three, you get three toys. So, first, which Halo fig? You want to get to choose one of the Halo figs. You want the six inch, I mean, the yeah, the six inch, or do you want the three inch? And then um, you only get to choose one out of those two, and then you still have two more items. Um, everyone. Glenn, so I can go Glenn and go there. Brooks said, Glenn said, I want to fuck that, LOL. <laughs> Glenn, you said, oh, nice job, Glenn. Slim dog, Glenn, let's go. Everyone, congrats. Let's go, Glenn. 
Maria, nice job. Simon, it was meant to be. That's a fact. Congrats. I'll take the Halo fit. I only get... All right. Gio, you still going to get another chance. Hang in there, man. <laughs> the force is still... Right. So, Glenn is taking the six inch. Here's the uh, condition. If you were interested, it just has this little mark right here, Glenn. Other than that, just so you see how the tape is, it is a little, but good condition if you want to keep it in the box. Glenn, you still get two more items. You got to pick the other two items so we could get to the next round. So we have... Glenn, I'm going to need you to pick your two items so you can um, get to the next items. I mean, the next, uh, yeah, the next, you know, next round of giveaway. Um, so, you know, we got the Hulk, the Orange Hulk, Red Hulk, Dr. Peter, Van, Van Pinkman, um, Ghostbusters, another Halo fig, um, G.I. Joe, these three, and then the comic book, so... So again, Glenn, I just need you to choose your other two toys and then we could get to this next round and um, we'll be done. So, Glenn, the chat is waiting on you, my friend. I know my comments coming a little slow, but uh, I'm gonna need you. I mean, unless you just want your six inch halo, that, that's fine as well, but I mean, you, are, you can pick two more. So, and every year, Snake Eyes and the White Ninja. Okay, you can only get one G.I. Joe, Glenn. Only one G.I. Joe fig. So, which one? You want Snake Eyes or do you want uh, Storm Shadow? Before I give it. Snake eyes. Now, do you want a third toy or do you just want to take those two? You get to choose three. So, Glenn, do you... Um... I give you my IG as soon as you choose the last gift or, you know, if you want just the Halo and the Snake eyes, I... You know, I have no problem sending you those two, but um, you do get to choose three. Fortunately, I can only send one G.I. Joe, so. Gold Hulk. Um, this one? Okay. So this isn't really gold, but it's like, um, it's really like kind of orangey. But um, yeah, this is the condition. So thank you, Glenn, and congrats to you again, Glenn. You chose Gold Hulk, uh, Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe, and Halo 6-inch. Uh, my Instagram, I'm going to write it in the chat right now. Of course, Glenn, you won't be able to enter into the second round because that wouldn't be fair. But Glenn, go to my Instagram shoot me a dm of your shoot me a dm of your um address and i will send those out to you i'll probably shoot you a message with the confirmation once i send those out so you guys ready for the uh second round guys these are what's left um now if you guys wanted more hoax i do have some more hoax so i don't know we do have another Hulk. Um, yeah, I think that's that. So if you guys are ready for the second round, I'm going to be letting. So this was the first number. 
17. We're going to get rid of that. Toss that over there. I'm going to be writing down for the next. So, Glenn, I hope you see. I, wrote, I put my. Glenn said, thank you. No problem, Glenn. I appreciate you checking out um, the live, man. Toy King, it's a good choice. Yeah, that was some good ones. I'm all now, so I'm meditating now, so I'm going this next round. <laughs> all right. All right, so the next round, if you guys are ready, I'm going to be putting the numbers in the chat. Don't write the numbers yet. Let me write down my number first, and then you guys can go ahead. So next is going to be from 1 to 20 again. I already wrote down my, oh, oh, shit, hold on. I just wrote down my number. It's going to be from 1 to 20 again. My number is right here. You guys could drop, please drop one number in the chat. Let's go. If you see someone has chosen your number, please choose something else. Just one number, guys. Make it fair for everyone. Going to say good luck to everyone. I wish I could do more. You know, I wish I could give everyone some, a little something because, you know, you guys all really been showing love and I do appreciate it, but you know, in the perfect world, maybe. Okay, so I'm seeing some comments. Let's just go over. So it's one to 20. Uh, Simon, comment six. Uh, Gus, Gus, Gus Bus, 12, two toasty, 13, Geo, nine, Maldonado, eight, Toy Kingdom, Nick, six. I'm sorry, Token of Nick 3, uh, Brooklyn 1, Slim Dog 11, Glaze 7, 8, Eddie 5. So I think that's probably everyone's going to give a few seconds for, for anyone who hasn't uh, commented. Anthony just did 19. So just going to give another 20 seconds and then. I'm going to show you the numbers that I have. My number is right here just to show that, you know, I already wrote it down. I'm not writing the number after you guys did it. I already wrote it just to make it fair. Okay, so I think that's everyone. I'm going to comment done so no one else could join. Uh, I think that's everyone, so done. So, can I get a drum roll, please? Can I get a, a I get a drum roll in the chat? Can I get the can, I, can we do the Can we get a drum? Can we get the drums in the chat on top? Can we get the drums in the chat, please? <laughs> We get the drums in the chat. But yeah, my number is six. So I don't think anyone won this room. Oh, no, Simon. Foreign Simon, let's go. Everyone, congrats to Simon. Let's go, Simon won. Congrats, man. Let's go. So, six is the magic number. Oh, 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 oh. So, congrats to you, Simon. Um, so Simon, I just need you to, um, same thing, comment, you know, what toys you want you are interested in. 
Let me put Glenn's toys to the side. These were Glenn's toys. Thank you, Simon, with the quick response. So we got the comic book. Oh, it comes in the plastic. Uh, I think that's how much I paid for it, seven bucks. But boom, um, Storm Shadow. Now, Simon, I just got to say this Storm Shadow, it's not damaged, but... If you see right here, it's just a tad bit like kind of lifted. That's actually just how I purchased it. So if you get it, I don't want you to think you know I damaged it. But um, Storm Shadow, the comic book, and the three-inch Halo, three-inch Halo. So everyone goes. Uh, congrats to Simon. And, you know, just because you guys are really just so, you know, I just appreciate all y'all support, man. Y'all remember, go subscribe to the channel. Go like the video if you enjoyed this live. We're going to do one more. Stake around. We're going to do one more. Just because I fuck with y'all. I ain't going to lie. Like, I ain't going to lie, man. I fuck with y'all. Like, I got to do one more. Like, I really want my people to win. So, um, Simon is going to be Thai TV 93. Simon, go to my IG, send me a DM of your address. I will be sending you these items. So, um, again, Simon, go to Thai TV 93, DM me your address. And yeah, we're gonna do another round, guys. So stick around. Let's do one more. I was I didn't plan on doing three rounds, but why not? You feel me? Unfortunately, some of the good ones are gone, but we still have um, Destro, GI Joe, some funk, and some funk pops. So. Simon, no doubt, man. Brooke said she wanted that comic book salary. I actually have a duplicate too of the comic book too, but um, mine comes with a different, if you see back here, comes with a different um, cover, but that one's for me. I need to train more on the force meditation. <laughs> Gio, yeah, man, stick around, man. We're going to do one more. Simon, of course, man, I appreciate you for just checking me out and, you know, you, you've been tuned, you know, you guys been tuning in for shit. We're about to hit three hours. Uh, Brooks, I need that beta force to hit me. LOL. <laughs> May the force be with you. May the force be with me. Right, Gia. So, last one, it gets four items. No, it's still three. More than all, it's still three. You just get to choose your three. So, um, let me just write down the wonders one second. I know the first one was Glenn P. And then second one that was foreign Simon. So Simon, make sure you go send me that address of my IG, and I'll make sure that goes out. Um, probably between one to three, but you know, I was about to say business days. Like I got to but it'd probably be the one to three days. So tomorrow's Sunday, so probably you know, probably be during the weekday. Slim dog, good first. I appreciate it, my brother. I told you, you guys made this real comfortable for me. So, you know, what I did, I actually only planned on doing one giveaway, but you know, you guys kind of just made this so fun for me and you know, just comfortable. I want to do one more. So, so, oh my man, Vita slumped over. This is the last one, guys. This is going to be the last one. Let me write down the number first. Just one second, guys. One second. Let me write down the number. 
Now for the last one, it's going to be I meant to put last giveaway. I don't know if I said last five away, but last giveaways. One second. Let me just write down the number. Uh, uh, so it's 11 people in here. It's going to be from 1 to 20. My number is written down right there. Everyone, drop your numbers, drop your numbers. Just one number. If you see someone comment your number, please choose another. Just one number, please. Simon, you just deem. I see the um, notification. I just can't check it right now. So I got you, bro. Comment your numbers, guys. I see, G, as you see. I appreciate you saw that he had um, comment your numbers. So you put another. I appreciate that, my brother. Everyone drop your numbers, drop your numbers. Geo only put two numbers because he uh, someone else already commented the first number, so that's fine. Anyone else? Drop your numbers. Uh Simon, I, I saw your DM. I'll respond to you once I get up alive, bro, my brother. I got you though. Simon, you can't uh Simon stick around. You just can't join the um this round, of course, but definitely stick around, man. Uh Gus been said what's up, what's going on, man? So some of the numbers I see so far, Maldonado and eleven, Gusman fourteen, Toy Kingdom Nick eight. Uh no. Brooklyn sixteen, Slum Dog five, Chio nineteen. So it's gonna give you twenty seconds for whoever hasn't commented their number. There's a few extra seconds. I think that's everyone though. Anyone else? Once I comment done, then that's it. No one else could enter. We already seen Glenn try to pull the fast one on me, but you know, clearly the force was with him. So I think that's about it, guys. I'm just gonna get done. And my number was 13, guys. 13. So. Uh, dang, uh, I think Gus Bush was the closest. He had 14, so he didn't, but yeah, no winner, no winner, no winner, no winner. Sorry, I appreciate it for sticking around. So, we're gonna just do it one more time, guys. No winner, I'm gonna do it one more time. So, you see, I'm just gonna take this. All right, now the stickies. Hold on. I got another thing of stickies. All right, it's a fresh pack of stickies. I'm going to write down the number. All right, just to make sure this time someone's going to win because we're going to do. We're going to do one out of ten. Let me write down the number first. Uh, one out of ten. I just wrote down the number on this sticky right here. One out of ten. Drop your numbers, guys. Someone's definitely gonna win because there's only ten people in here. <laughs> one out of ten, guys.
Mode did not. Nope, nobody. The last one was on 13. Nobody won. So we're doing one out of... Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, hold on. Nobody got is one out of ten, guys. Gio, you're going to have to put another number. Maldonado, put your number right before you. Yeah, Maldonado, you did pick it first. I see that. Um, Okay, there we go. Gio put his number. So, what we have so far, Brooklyn got one, Cusper seven, Toy Kingdom Nick four, Maldonado five, Slim Dog eight, Glaze two, and Geo nine. Just gonna give you guys a few seconds for whoever hasn't entered. I think that's everyone now. Just twenty seconds. We're going on three hours, man. I know y'all tired of me. <laughs> and man, like boy, if you don't give me my toy, but. All right, I think that's everyone. I'm about to calm it done. Then I'll show you guys my number. Okay, so it's closed. My number's already written down. It's two. So, uh, Glaze one. That's okay. Glaze one. Please, Cali. Please, Cali. One. To... Everyone, congrats to him, man. Yo, I appreciate everyone for tuning in, and you know, um, you know, even just a, attempt listening to me for three hours and trying to be a part of the giveaway. I apologize. I know, you know, a lot of you guys was talking to me the whole time, so you know, I wish I could give everyone something. But, um, you know, that's just not how the giveaways go. But I do appreciate you guys for even, you know, tuning in and just, you know, enjoying this live with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it at least. Um, so, Glaze, yeah, congrats, man. A1, yeah, congrats to Glaze, everyone. Geo, congrats, bro. Glenn Washington. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, no problem, man. So I came and said, congrats, Glee. I just came out and just think, well, man, that force is with you, clearly. So. <laughs> so I came to, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. You got to let me, so I came, you got to let me know when you go live, man, so we could, so I could, uh, so I could tap in with you. Slim dogs, I'm pulling a Daru Chow stop the count. Hey, <laughs> yo. <laughs> I hope we are not about to ride and come to SC and do a recount. Shit. But, um, Glaze, I need you to pick what figures you want. I mean, there's only four here. You could choose three. So, you know, you could choose your three and that'll, con you know, that'll conclude the giveaway. Um, and you know, I think I think we'll wrap it up for tonight. So, uh, appreciate it, Gio. Much love, man. Maldonado said, "Congrats, please." Brooks said, "Congrats, everyone." Uh, great live, I appreciate that, Brooklyn. Please, Cali, both for the Hulks and the other pop. So you want you want these three? All right. So it's the Orange Hulk, Red Hulk, and this is the Dr. Peter Rinkman from Ghostbusters. So I'll be sending you these three pops. And um, I mean, um, before you guys go, hold on though. Um, so Glaze, 
you want these three, make sure you go to, I'm going to put my IG again. Please go to my IG, DM me your address. Let me write down your name on the stuff. And hey, um, for the rest of the people that are still here with me, if you guys want me to do a raffle just for the... Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I forgot I had this one, too, behind it. I apologize. Damn. Who asked for the gold? Oh, man. Did someone ask for a gold one? Oh, yeah. Glenn asked for the gold one. So this is for Glenn. The gold was yellowish. So I don't know if he wanted this one or this one. Let me just keep this one. I think that's the one. Because that's the one he saw. But this one's still available. So these, this is going to Glaze. Send me that... Uh, Please send me that address. This is for Glees. One second, let me write his name down. Glees Khalid. Remember, guys, subscribe to the channel, man. Share, share it as well if you enjoyed everything, man. Um. Yeah, I was going to say, because this isn't really gold. It's like yellowish, really. So I wasn't sure. I'm not sure if Glenn is even still in the um, chat. Hi, child. I appreciate that. I need to do what you did and show my clutch. That's not for real. Uh, Toy Kim, you got a lot of good um, wrestling figures I'm trying to see. So, yeah, people want to see that. Glaze, I appreciate the Maldonado. Maldonado, you want me to do one more? I do have some, you know, I have these two left. Okay, Glenn, you back. Okay. All right, so Glenn, did you want such a bear? Which one? I'll let you choose, man. And then, you know, if you guys want to do one more, y'all got to let me know. Now, Think you wanted to go? Okay, I'm with, with either. No, I need you, Glenn. I need you to pick Maldonado. Okay, I may do one more if, if the chat is with it. Brooke says she wants that GI Joe. Yeah, I thought someone would have picked up the, the Destro, but the yellowish gold one. Okay, so this one. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Glenn, I got you. Slim Dog, one more. All right, let's do one more then. We could do one more. I'm going to text you. DM, please. D I you DM me, please. Maldonado, one through six. Yeah, There's not a lot of people. All right. So, all right. If you want another, um, if you want another, dr if you want another, Giveaway. I need you to put that them drum roll emojis so I can see who's participating. I don't want it to just be one person, so I need y'all to put the, the drum roll drum roll emojis. If y'all want one more, just be out of these, it'll be these two that I'm giving away. All right, all right, all right. All right, let's go then. Brooke, Geo, Toy Kingdom, Nick. All right, let's do it then. All right, so it's only six people in here, and I think some of these people are already winners. So I'm going to do. All right, Slim Dog to it. All right, I see you. Okay, let's do it then. It's going to be one out of 10, guys. This is going to be the final one. 
My ass is getting a little tired. <laughs> but yeah, one out of ten. My number is right here. One out of ten. Drop your numbers. Now, if you see someone that puts your number, I'm just gonna say who put it first, and then you just put, you know, your second number. But just drop one number. If you see someone put your number, try to choose something else, but Uh, Slim Dog, Slim Dog. I'm gonna need you to choose another number. Toy Kingdom got that number already. Thank you, sir. I think that might be everyone. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think that's everyone. So we got five, one, uh, seven, four, and eight. And just in case if I missed anyone, I'm just going to give you 20 more seconds. Uh, once I calm it done, of course, you can't put a number anymore. I think that's everyone, though. This is going to be for the last two items. My number is right here. Uh, so I think that's everyone. Um, so... I'm going to hit done. And I don't think anyone got the number again. Damn. Nine. Come on. You guys, force powers is weak as hell. <laughs> oh, boy. It was nine, guys. So Slum Dog, you was the closest, but almost close with no cigar. So, so close. I want someone. Come on, try. All right, so this one, we're gonna do one more. One more. One more. Look, there's only eight people in here. I'm pretty sure one and one or two may be a winner already. So, we're gonna do one through. Okay, so look. Throwing this one away. Throwing it away. Let me write down the next one. Gee, yeah, no, so close, man. Slim Dog, we're going to do one more. But we're going to keep guessing. If I said, hey, you can't be second guessing yourself. We're going to do one more, one more, one more, y'all. Um, now this one, I'm just going to, because we keep doing those type of numbers, I'm just going to do, just to throw some of y'all off. Just to throw some of y'all off, we're going to do this. So it's going to be 20 through 28, 20 through 28. So the number is tw from 20 to 28. You guys understand? Drop your numbers. If you see someone that put your number, please put a different one. From 20 to 28. From 20 to 28. From 20 to 28. So far we have Brooklyn with 21, Toy Kingdom 24, Geo 26, Maldonado 25, Slim Dog 28. It's going to give it a few more seconds. My number is right here. 
Um, my number is always written down first, so you guys know I'm keeping it fair. Let's give it 15 more seconds. We'll have it then enter. Once I comment done, then that's it. Oops, sorry about that. All right, I think that's everyone, so I'm just going to comment done. Okay. My number is... Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Nah. <laughs> it was 21. 21, 21, 21, 21, 21. So, oh, Brooklyn won. Let's get it. So, Brooklyn has won. Brooklyn's the one. Everyone, congrats, Brooklyn G. <laughs> Everyone, congrats, Brooklyn G on the last giveaway. That's three giveaways today, yeah. Go on. 21. So, Brooklyn, you do get these last two, which is Avengers. I mean, yeah, Avengers uh, Hulk. This is the orange one. With the only at Walmart sticker on it. Uh, here's the kind of conditions so you can see. This one's in actually good condition. No tears or anything. And the Destro. Also good condition, no, no flaws. So, Gio said, "Congrats, Brooke. Glad you're happy." Um, Toy Kingdom said, "Congrats." Slim Dog said, "You didn't second guess this time, right?" <laughs> Um, so Brooklyn, I just need you to go to, again, everyone, go subscribe to the channel. You guys can also subscribe to my, uh, Instagram account, which is Ty TV 93 I do post on there, you know, when I upload and, um, I'm going to try to get into just, you know, posting other things as well, toy related. So Brooklyn, I just need to go there, send me your address and I'll send it out. Um, but... Other than that, um, yeah. So yeah, just a uh, book. Make sure you go send me that address. Um, again, everyone. Okay. So yeah, I apologize. I know everyone couldn't be a winner, so I do apologize about that. But. Um, you know, I appreciate you guys just checking out my channel and sticking with me during this live. You know, you guys have been here for you know, a decent amount of time, so I do appreciate it. Um, I think Sleepy might be doing a live later, so we might check them out. So everyone go check out uh, Toy Kingdom Nick's channel, Slum Dog Fignair channel um, for other toy-related stuff. Geo, I appreciate you coming out. Maldonado, appreciate you. Brooklyn, I appreciate you. You know, I'm trying to, anyone that I miss, Glenn, shout out to the Winners too, which is. Florence, Florence, Simon. Um, I think, uh, think that was everyone, man. Simon, have a good night, man. Appreciate you coming through, man. Uh, Toy Kingdom, Nick, appreciate you, man. Gio, appreciate you. Thank you. We're gonna do this. We got to do this again, y'all. Brooklyn, I appreciate you. Thank you. I'm going to make sure you get those figures, too. Maldonado, have a good night, man. Appreciate you. Thanks again. Thanks for y'all. So, yeah, this is going to conclude everything, man. Yeah. You guys just stay in, uh, tuned. So, you know, what I'll post next. Remember, subscribe, 
like, comment, um, share. Appreciate y'all. So, yeah, you guys have a good one. Yeah, keep it up, y'all. Um, yeah. Pre Glenn, of course, man. I'm gonna make sure I get you those figs. Some dog, yeah. Everyone go check them out and and, and yeah, I'm I'm in my broadcast now. Um, I appreciate y'all again. I keep I know I keep reiterating myself, but you know I just uh, it's my first live, so I just um, you know this was fun. I'm not gonna lie. So you guys have a good night and yeah. Guys, have a good one. Take care, y'all.